Hi everyone. Hi, yeah. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Tatin Bags. All right. Tw two weeks in a row he got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. We are a floss tube channel about cross stitch, mm -hmm. and we are an online cross stitch owner. Owners? <laughs> yeah. Yes. With the S. S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we show what we're stitching, what we're doing, what we're about, and then we also show what's new in the shop, what we're finishing in the shop, and different things that's going on in the shop. So it's a little bit inclusive other than a regular floss tube. Yes. So first, welcome. Welcome again. <laughs> you are back. Thank you for coming back. If you're watching and you're not subscribing, please subscribe. We've I've noticed uh, we we get, we got like from last week to this week we we went over like uh, sixty plus new people. Wow! Week. So yeah. congratulations, thank you guys. I, <laughs> and check the video today, but then I no attention that the numbers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, that means we almost in thirty five hundred. We're we're over thirty five hundred. Oh, yeah, we're thirty five sixty. We're almost thirty. Oh, cool. Six. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's why because I because like earlier this week we just got over thirty five and I'm like. Oh wow, we hit thirty-five, and now and then today I looked and was like, oh wow, we almost. <laughs> oh, we can do another drawing. We yeah. have our gifts. Well, when we get ready, when we get thirty-five hundred. Yeah, we can. Yeah. yeah, next week. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do that next week. Well, um, thank you for the shoutouts. Yes. Um, the first one is nine one one Stitcher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yes. Your kindness. Mm -hmm. And the next one is uh, Motor City Stitcher. Thank you for shouting us out. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we like to uh, thank people who shout us out, and we shout them out. So we and I have cards. And we have a couple of cards. I got this one last week, um, but I had it with the mail. Normally, we film at like 2.30ish on a Friday, just yeah. after the final mails come. But today, since it's market week, and we're not filming until... What time is it? Seven? I don't know what time it is. It feels late. It's late. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't get to show this last week. This is from our friend Kathy. And she put a warning on there that this one did not have glitter this time. <laughs> <laughs> so she's she sent me the little Sam Sarah Jackie O to go with my other two um in the series. I've got the Frankenstein and the Ghost. Oh, yes. cool. That I showed during thank my stash. Thank you, Kathy. So thank you, Kathy. So now I'll be able to stitch them and put them together. Yeah, and I uh, had a couple of okay. cars. Here you go, let Ronnie do that this one. This is um, um, Susan. Susan. Thank you so much, Susan, for your lovely card. Oh, we really appreciate pretty. it. Yeah, Gary, not see it because <laughs> <laughs> he was um, in the farmer and the framer when the car came in today. Oh, very pretty. We got it today. Oh, I love yeah. it. I love the, of course, you know, I love the color. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, there's a little letter beautiful there. Now. Oh, I have to read that later, after yes. the video. Yes. And then we have one more here. Again, no glitter. This is from, um, I think it's, I'm going to say, oh, Denise. Yes. I thought it was Denise, but I was like, ooh, D, D, Denise. Yes, Denise. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Thank you. <laughs> this is a fun, this is a very fun that. card. Green envelope. Yeah, very fun card. Very pretty. Lovely note. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is this is very pretty. Thank you so much. Yes, and thank you so much to um, Sartia Stitches, mm -hmm. Christy. She sent us a, a chart. That's what I'm saying. We have a for for drawing. A drawings yeah. we could do in next week because mm -hmm. this week we have a lot a lot to show. Yeah, and uh, thank you so much for your mm -hmm. kindness. Uh, Christy, yeah. Saltia Stitches. Yeah. And these are some of her new ones that just came out at Needlework Needlework Marketplace. Oh, yeah. That's such a tongue twister to say. Yeah. I will show that yeah. next week yes. when we um, announce the drawing. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. All right. Um, that's it. <laughs> um, ooh. Any FFOs? Nope. We. We do. We have a group. Oh yeah, yeah. We have we a have group it. FFO. Have it, yeah. This everybody yeah. stitched this. Yeah. This, this is, is from, lovely. This is um Christy from the Salty Stitcher. She yes. does. She um converted our logo into cross stitch for us, and we took it to the retreat, our first retreat, and we had all the attendees. Mostly. Most of all the attendees. Some of them were sleeping. 
um, initial, put their initials on over the three days of the retreat. Yeah. And Brad's in there. Yeah, we there. Yeah. Um, wait, well, maybe. Okay, there we go. Now so wait. what we did is we had to, we put uh, plexiglass on it because we're gonna take this to every retreat we go, and uh, and make it part of the retreat. So, our retreat. Yeah, our retreats. Yeah. Yeah. Not every retreat we go. Yes. I know. To our retreat. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah. So that was a very fun piece to stitch, and uh, it was very fun. Having everyone put their initials on there. I love it. Yes. I love it. I love it. The end, I finish it and everything. Mm -hmm. And then another FFO. Another FFO. What is that? It's a, it's a Gary hair. Uh oh. Uh, I got it out. Arm hair. <laughs> All right. This is from Teresa Kogut. This is Silo Witches. Back from the framework. I love this piece. I love and this, this was stitched on 32 count. Pumpkin from Fiber on the Whim. I remembered. Mm. And I used the call for colors. And I really had a fun, fun time stitching this piece. It's one of my favorites. I love the frame, the little dots. And the... uh -huh. It's got a little bit of a greenish tone. It matches the um, swamp water thread really good. When he laid it on there, we worked together, the framer and I, and we picked. It's kind of reading just as a dark frame, but in person, it really matches the thread. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And then um, last month's designer focus, one of the designer focuses was um, Hello from Liz Matthews. And I'd finished this last week, last month, and I wanted to have it framed. So this is a really cute little frame. It looks very um, appropriate, I think, for the Hocus Pocus. Oh wow, he put it even a hook now in the frame. Oh yeah, he's always given us um he gives us the little hooks in there to nail. I know attention never. Uh, yeah. So um this the thread I used on on this one was um something cobra. It was from it's from um the thread gatherer with certain colors and it's um so, called something cobra. And um, it was really interesting to stitch with because I had to do a lot of fussy cutting because there's a lot of black and there's a little bit of color. A lot of black and a little bit of color. And so I wanted more color in my piece. So I think you can see that. I tried to get the colors to balance a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it was, little angle. it was a fun little yeah. piece to do. I'll pop a picture into at the end Yeah. so you can stop and look at it. I don't know. In the, when I see it looking dark. It's all black. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm going to put these over here because we have a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to put mine over this side. Okay. And speaking of finishes, I finished Halloween at Hawkwind Hollow. I put it out on Instagram. I put it out on Facebook. I put it everywhere. I posted it everywhere the night I finished it or uh, the morning. But you it. had two finishes, really. Yes, the other one. Well, we'll talk, about that. we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So let's let's give let's give Halloween to Talk and Hollow. It's just due. And this is on 32 count um, toasted almond by Fabrics by Stephanie. It's a fat half. And it's stitched with the needlepoint silks. Um I I use dried thyme by Silken Colors for the witch's hair, the green. And then I use the, the teal color here for the this um uh, Mermaid hair was supposed to be brown, but I used the teal color from down here. So I just um, tried to move the color around a little bit more. And uh, this has been a total joy to stitch. And a big piece like this, it really did help me to pick it up on the 15th of every month, starting in February, and just uh, only focus on it for 15 days and then put it up and then work on something else. So it really did help. So I didn't get burnt out on it and I look forward to stitching it every month. So I'm gonna continue that process of finding something big or something I really wanna stitch. Mostly something big that's gonna take some time. You have one big project there waiting. I have a lot of big projects, he has no idea. <laughs> yes. Well, what is the black one, gray? The full coverage, I'm not sure full coverage is, it takes me too much time to get into it mm -hmm. and then I don't wanna put it down. So I might, break my designer focus so there's a couple of stacy nash uh halloween at Hall hollyberry farm that i have started it's a big white house on a with a big it's like another fat half and then also there's one i'm stitching with karen from fox and rabbit uh plum street samplers um ghoul tide mm. which is a big black house 
and a witch and a bunch of other stuff on a fat half. So I got a lot of houses that I, I really want to work on. And I had one other finish this week, which is the model I stitched for one of our exclusives for the Stitching the Wild Retreat. I took it to the framer to have it framed and I'll be sending the picture to the designer so she can add it to the cover. So yeah, it was really fun to stitch. Uh, I'll show we you. We will show you next year. Yes, I'll show you the uh, frame I picked up. I took a photo. Okay. It's it's a really cool frame. Um. So and now we're whips. into whips. Ronnie. I have been working in my mystery whip for the retreat. Yes. You saw a little bit uh, of it last week. Yeah. And, and that's I, all I you'll was see. working in that one mostly this week. Mm -hmm. And I'm working a little bit in uh, Garon Mermaid. What is Kate? Kate? Yeah, Kate made it for Kate us. Kate made for us. And um, this is my... I love that fabric. Where I am. Yeah. yeah. That's 16 count Ma Marvelous yeah. by Fiberlicious. Yes. That is my whip. And it's all stitched with DMC. Very pretty. Yes. All DMC. Yep. Yeah. And that is my whips. All right. So um, I want to go into plans and starts plans right now oh. because that way we when we okay. do the other stuff I'll, we won't forget to come back all right <laughs> so i uh, since it to this month is september 1st Ooh, we're filming on the first today is the first well we could have done the design focus today we didn't think about it no i'm thinking that was the last oh well uh, last friday i'm thinking friday was the last yeah but it's the first of the september yeah anyway. do it the last friday of, of the, the month, month. yes <laughs> Okay. I was right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I mean, I'm just thinking, oh, we could have done it on the first. But anyway, so uh, Silver Creek Samplers is our designer focus for September. Yes. And last week I showed that I was going to start reaping love. Um, but unfortunately, I am waiting for one of the colors to come in. So I can't start it tonight. And it's the main color for the the Reaper. <laughs> Mm. So, so uh, I joined the bandwagon, and everyone else in the Floss Tube universe of Facebook and every place Instagram is stitching uh, Flying Lessons by Silver Creek. So I'm gonna start this one. Ronnie pulled the colors for me. He was so nice to do that. <laughs> and I just um, pulled some fabric. This is a 30 count. Um, Primitive hair fabric. It's called Wicked Woods. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. Let me. Yeah, Ronnie's going to try to hold it. Because it's kind of. Th mm. Show the top and then show the bottom. So it's going to fit. I want to try and put it like, like right in around here. See, there's like this pumpkin here. And I want to try and put it like right here. So the brew. So the the 1692 is like. So, so, it'll, so there. It's going to look like that. So I'll lose the branch for framing and everything, but I can use this top part to stitch something, another little small, I think. Yeah. But I've already figured out I'm gonna lose some of the fabric, but I really want that pumpkin in this piece and the and the branch on the other side. I think it'll be really cool. So I will be starting that as soon as this video is finished, uploaded, edited, uploaded, and done. Do you think you go out there tonight? Yeah, around 1.30 in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I'll be able to start that at 1.30 in the morning. It's tomorrow. It's not the next day until I go to sleep. <laughs> if I stay up for three days, it's still the first day. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um. That is your plan. That's our plan. And your plan? My plan is, um, keep working in the mystery for the stitching in the wild. Mm -hmm. So I'm finished it. Keep working in the marmans and I'm thinking it's gonna be it for this oh, okay. week. <laughs> well, but wait, it's September. I know. I had the other whip. I had to keep it. That I'm going the patriotic Christmas. I had thirty days. Yeah, you got thirty days. You yeah. start on the fifteenth. I can start when I can start. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not rushing. No. No, it's good because it still has to be. It just has to be done before Christmas. Yeah. And as long as we get it done by November, you can get it framed and up on the wall for Christmas. Yeah. And that's always the plan. So there's no stress, no work, no rush. No. So now let's talk a little bit about needlework marketplace. Yes. Yes. First of all, mm -hmm. no. First of all, I forgot. Thank you, thank you, everybody, and the clubs 
for pay your invoices. Mm -hmm. We still have only three invoices for pay, but there's no big deal. We really appreciate everybody who paid the invoices and time and mostly already get it. And thank you to the bag of the month for mm -hmm. all my bag this month. Mm -hmm. I know I was expecting that reaction in Facebook. Well, we got the reactions on Facebook. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're so kind, everybody, with, with our clubs. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you guys would like the bag. I love the fabric. Yeah. I thought it was really colorful yeah. and, and cute. Um, and now, it, really, work. it really did help us uh, when you guys paid the invoices early on, uh, on time. Because that way, when, needle, when it was time for needlework, we were able to focus on needlework and yeah. not... Jump back and forth. It was yeah. we, really good. We are reading a lot of a lot of achievement about the new new products, mm -hmm. and uh, we already sent some invoices. When the orders fill it up, Gary send the invoice, and you yeah. pay, and we ship it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got it. We have more December. than half of the designers in. Yes. Uh, primitive hair. Mm -hmm had um, an issue this week, and so she had to go somewhere for family things. Uh -huh. um, and so she will send out the invoices to us on Monday, mm -hmm. and then she'll, she'll be shipping next week, you know, next week. Yeah. So that's the only, that's a big one that's waiting for most of my uh, orders, orders, because there's a lot of different things, and there's a couple of others in there too. Yeah. So yeah. Um, once we get everything all together, we'll be, we send out the invoices, like Ronnie said, and we ship mm -hmm. as soon as you guys are paying. Um, let's see. And then it was an, it, it was a fun, it was fun. It was a different format for, for me this time for the Needlework, Ex, Needlework Marketplace versus Expo. Uh, I just have to get used to the electronic format. Yeah. I think I think I'll get more used to it the second time. Yeah, the way they do this year is different. The last year I'm I'm not even participate in the mm -hmm. in the yeah looking for the designers. Yeah. And I and and, and um yeah, hopefully we, fingers crossed we'll have more designers next year. So yeah. the more designers the more entertaining it is. Yeah. And Gary had the I have the top ten. Top ten. Top 10. Now, I didn't go as far as to say this, these four, number 13, and these four, number two, and number two. I just got, here's the top 10 on my list. I, so In our, in our, in our pre-orders. In our, yeah, in our business. Yeah. So. all their business had different. Yeah, because everybody has different types of customers. Yeah. This is, speaks about our customer base mm -hmm. and what you guys like. So, we try to keep what you like in the shop. Yeah. So. Uh, top to bottom, the top one is the number one, and the bottom one is the number 10. So that's all the numbers you're going to get. Uh, the first one is um, Assembly Required by Ink Circles. Mm -hmm. You'll see all these later on when we, sh when we show them, because most of them have come in. Yeah. Some of them have come in. Um, the next one is Vincent Vain Go from Silver Creek Singlish. Go. It's, Go. Yeah, it's oh. like Van Gogh. And then um, 1869 from Samplers and Primitives. That's a new designer for us. And then the next one, of course, is Miss Martha 1776. Her kit that's kitted with fabric and chart. I think it's all. I think it's all. She calls it a kit, but it's just fabric and chart. And that's from the Primitive Hair. Okay. And then um, the next one is Scarlet Berries by the Scarlet House. And then we have a sampler for all seasons mm -hmm. uh, from the Scarlet House. Mm -hmm. And then we have Canine Quotes, which is Princess Leah's favorite chart for the for the market, um, the Scarlet House. And then we have um, Santa's Moonlight Ride by Counting Puddles. Counting Puddles is a new designer for us also. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is from the same designer is Spooktacular Party from um, Counting put Puddles. And then the, the number 10 is Good Intentions Revisited by Kathy Barrick. Kathy Barrick has another chart, an older chart called Good Intentions. That's why she called this one Good Intentions Revisited. And I like the idea that you could finish it as a drum or as a, as a framed object. All right. Or as a pillow. If it's framed, mm -hmm. it could be a pillow. So um, these are some interesting top 10s. Um, the counting puddle ones are very beautiful. 
Um, I'll, well, I'm gonna, I'll go more in detail because we have them here yes. when we start showing them. Because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, some of these charts. The next announcement is the box of a mystery box. Oh, uh, that's over. Oh, you have it on those. Yeah. I'm sorry. And jump yeah. the schedule. All right. The next one in the schedule <laughs> is Stitching in the Wild. Stitching in the Wild. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Yes. We are We are filling up the second weekend of Stitching in the Wild fairly fast. We have about 20-some spots still available. 20-ish. 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 It keeps yeah. changing by the minute, so I'm not going to give an exact number. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, this week we sell a lot of spots. Mm-hmm. And if you want to be in the Stitching in the Wild with us, yep, yep, we still have spots. Oh, got it. Yep. Because it can be yeah gone and, fast. And we will have we will have a pop up shop. So we'll we'll have a pop up shop there, and we will be having um, exclusives. Exclusives. We have multiple exclusives yep. charts. And what we do with our exclusive charts is we kit them up for you with floss and fabric so that the fabric um, for call the, fa the fabric color that's called for and mm -hmm. um in multiple counts we try to do a mix of ada and a mix of linen so we try to keep it balanced yeah um because we have so many um uh designer uh exclusives for this one it'll probably be uh one eight one ada and one linen instead of multiple counts of linen and then we also will have the charts and floss packs yeah. sold separately if it's not a count that you stitch on. So we try to keep it all inclusive for everyone. And we go have the freebies too. And we'll have freebies. And, and Ronnie we'll... and I will be stitching the freebies as we did last time. Yeah. So you can see finished freebies. And we pack it. We, um, um, I, Jesus Christ. We do the thread packs. Thread packs. Yes. For the freebies. As in well. case that you want to yeah. stitch it. The, the goal is to show our uh, designers that we appreciate it. They take their time with the freebies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wish, you know, everybody attend, attend and attend this, yeah. like the freebies mm -hmm. and stitch it and show the designers that yeah. we, we, we appreciate, it. appreciate yeah. their, their job. Yeah. And then also mm -hmm. we've had, I've had questions where people asked about um, if they don't go to the retreat, how can they get some of the exclusives? Um, of course, the retreat people have first call, first dibs on all of the exclusives. If if by chance there is any left, we sell them. We'll sell them on the website, and then once they're gone from the website, they're, you're you're at the schedule of the designer when they're going to release it. Yeah, and that's um, pretty much how it's going how it works in most I yeah. think most exclusives that way. Yeah, last time we have extra exclusives and we put it in the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if it's all out in the in the retreat. So loud yeah. to till the designer releases it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so now let's see. That was that. And then now, what Ronnie was alluding to was we will have our Halloween mystery box. Yes. Um, I'm waiting on one more item for the box to come in. Okay. I got my invoice, so it's shipped. So we should get it this week. Something. Okay. And then I can start putting the boxes together. <laughs> we. <laughs> Not, nothing like waiting to the last minute. All the little things are ready it's just got to put them in the box yeah uh so we will have four different fabric counts that you can choose from yeah. so we will do a box that has 16 count a box that has 18 count ada and a box that has 30 count linen and a box that has 40 count linen mm -hmm. so it and you'll have everything you need to stitch the item in the box that's how we do our boxes. We we make sure everything's related to the item, to the pattern. And then there'll be some goodies in there that we um, feel like you might need for the box to make it complete. Yeah. There will be no food, smells, or soaps in the box. <laughs> it's going to be sale on September 23, 2 p.m. Central time. Central time. And I still, not for, I honestly still forget what time i am we're lucky to know what state we're in <laughs> yes <laughs> all right and um and then uh, is that limit is that limited yeah they are yeah. they are limited exclusives um there is a you know there's an exclusive chart there's an exclusive fabric uh yeah. the fabric was dyed just for the piece and just for the for this box 
Yeah. So um, I think it's really fun. I've stitched it already. I could not wait because it was so really cool. Yeah. I even got it finished at a finisher. And so we have it back. So we have two versions of the same chart stitched and finished two different ways. Yes. So I, I'm so excited about it. And we will show it one week or two weeks, not two weeks after, after the sale. Uh, yes. So basically it'll be October, some... October, first week of October, somewhere along there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Math is hard. <laughs> and then one other thing about stitching in the wild. Oh. I wanted to say here, because not a lot of people check their Facebook all the time or their emails. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a stitching in the wild Facebook group that attendees can join. Um, the difficulty with Facebook is if you have a private group, you can only invite friends you know. <laughs> and Facebook says, well, you don't know this person. I said, yes, we know them. So you have to be a friend of ours, of mine. Then I can invite you as a friend to the Facebook group. Uh, it's not required to be in the Facebook group to go to the retreat. It's just it's um, just kind of like a pre-retreat feeling. So you it's... get to meet people virtually and talk to them and find out where they're coming from. And because there's a couple people that oh you my god, them. you're coming from Virginia. I'm right down the street from you. They had no idea. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for you, one from Rumi and the hotel Rumi. That's between you guys. Yeah, you can or or travel found, together. I think found. So people in the group mm -hmm. is what the group is for yeah you can um, okay. um meet there in the group and there right. go from there yeah and then also we'll have um hotel information in there um any other kind of uh the plant the schedule of events once we get closer to the time it's a little early to, to put all that in there now but on september the 12th be on the lookout for an email from us yeah that's what i'm gonna say um about the hotel link we will send the hotel link out on september the 12th by email by the email that you have set up in the garon website yes so if that's not the email that you use that you <laughs> maintain <laughs> please contact us yeah <laughs> Okay. All the important information will be emailed. We will email it. Yeah. 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 And then also um, there was questions today in the group about um, block. Do we have enough blocked rooms for the event? Yes, we will have enough mm -hmm. blocked rooms because uh, we are working with the hotel staff daily whenever it starts, when the event goes on sale. Yeah. And um, they gave us a block and then they said we can expand here and there. So, um, we know we're going to need more rooms because we did last time. Yeah. Uh, they're being cautious because it's they're cautious, but um, they're trying to take care of us. But we know how good you guys are, so <laughs> no worries. And you're not required to stay at the hotel if you're local and you want to come to the event, but you do have to buy the event ticket to come in. You can't just come yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't have a day. No, there's no day pass or there anything. No like day that. pass. No, no. Okay. All right, who's ready to see the new charts that we got in the shop? A new product, because yes. it's not only it's, charts. It's, it's new products, it's new charts, it's new stuff. All right, um, let's, we're gonna show the fabric first, because this is a really cool piece of fabric we got. We only have a few pieces. Um, a friend of ours brought it back from Europe when they came, so that's why we only got a few. It's, um, it's banding. And it's 20, I put down as 27 count and it's eight inches wide by one yard. Good fall. That way. Ah, there you go. Yeah. And I think this is a perfect fabric to stitch um, my Christmas list from Silver Creek Samplers. Mm -hmm. This is eight inches. It will take seven and a half inches. So you'll have a little bit here, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. You gotta be centered perfect, but it will fit. And it's a yard. So raw it's, banding. Yeah, raw banding by Swag. 27 count. Okay, now more goodies. This is a little kit from Praiseworthy Stitches. It's the Redbird Christmas kit. And I'm gonna show it in the plastic because it's, it's got a bunch of little stuff in there. And I hate if I've lost something. Yeah. So there's the what the chart looks like. Let me show you all the all the the stuff. Look at all that stuff in there. See, I would hate to have lost something like that. I mean, there's That's all so kinds of cool cute. stuff. 
It is super cute. What I mean, crown is that? Uh, it's probably 32. It looks like 32. Oh. Yeah. And you can see it. You can see the holes. Oh, okay. No, I'm thinking the... the, the no, this is the, for the, that. The little thing and the bobbin. Oh, you thought that was stitched? Yeah, I think no. it was stitched, but no, it's, it's here. You just glue it or I don't know yeah, what. you just stitch the bird. Yeah. This is so cute. Yeah. Okay. I like that. And, um... So from Elegant Thread, she's got a series of these, um, uh, she's calling them the Mason Soju Collector 10s. And this is the number three in the series. This is the Marie Antoinette. And basically what you get, you get the 10, the Soju Collector 10, and you get the chart. And that's all that's in this um, packet. Okay. All right. And then, so this is the third one in the series. And since she was there and we had some someone ask for the first one this is the first one this is the la Pamir de paris so this is the first one and okay so this is the chart for the pattern that's in the tin and that's the chart for that so that's the chart there that's inside the tin so it's they're um Really cool little collector tins. You push on them and they pop open and you click the sides and they close. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of fun. Now, I was surprised when this came in. She also, because this is just the chart and the, and the tin. Mm -hmm. But for this one, she had sent me the, um, the fabric and the thread. So it's kind of like a little semi kit, but it's, it's they're sold separately. Okay. So that was a surprise. I didn't even know she had that. She put it in there and put it on the invoice. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. surprise. <laughs> All right. And then the next little thing from her, she's had some really, this is the elegant thread. This is um, Rose Biscornu Scissor Fob. And it's another kit. But this kit includes the fabric, the floss, the beads, cording, cotton stuffing, and a John James needle. So this is the little little fob mm -hmm. right there, the little bitty fob. These were limited edition exclusives, and we were only able to get two. Each shop could get two. We had a pre-order for one, and we got one for the shop. <laughs> so um, I'm saying that because if it's gone by the time you watch it, that was what happened. Yeah. All right, and then this is the board from the Kathy Hubberman design that I showed last, we showed last week. Mm -hmm. um, trying to think of the name. You know what? I'll pop a picture of it right here of this for the for the chart. It's hands on. It's pumpkin. I'm gonna get it all weird. There's a pumpkin <laughs> and there's patchwork and there's all these other words, but it's a really cute little um, board that you paint and you can tie cording around there. So it's like a little wooden pumpkin, but you could finish any any little fall pattern on here. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. I mean, Chantel's 141, she has some really great um, boards uh, finishing. Why all the boards are the same 141? That's the name of her company. Oh. Chantel's 141. Uh. <laughs> he thought they were numbers. <laughs> they are numbers, right? <laughs> and then why all the, the woods have the same number? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're, he's looking at the pegboard where he's got the other board that Kathy is using for her um, Polar Plunge series. And the other ones is three different sizes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we've got three different things. So this is, oh, do we want to show the chart with this? Okay, put it on the side. Yeah, we'll set that aside until we get to the chart. Yeah. Because that'll make more sense. Um, yeah. We have a, a bunch of little cute uh, kits from um, Siri... Serenita. Serenita di... Di Campagna. There you go. Serenita di Campagna. That's the Italian Spanish version. <laughs> yes. Right. So this is a little... She calls it a scissor pad. Scissor pad. It's actually a scissor fob. So again, it's, it's language. So this is the cardinal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and Very it, cute. it comes with the fabric and the thread. I've got this like this because you can see some of the, the chart. I didn't want to yeah. show her chart. Yeah. And then that's the cardinal. This one she is is another scissor pad. She it's called curly. So I guess that's what you call a hedgehog is a curly. But this is super cute. Yeah. Is the shower fabric and threads. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
And and then here's the little squirrel. So there's a little squirrel. So these are cute. I mean, I think they're really cute. They show much better on the photos that's on the website because she actually sent us stitched photos versus these um, photos that's on the on the paper. So that's mm -hmm. why they're super cute. This is um, what this is a kit to make a bookmark. So for the readers out there, oh. you make a bookmark. So you got the little ribbon for and hanging on the outside. ornament. You could use as an ornament. I thought they were really cute as ornaments to put on a tree, but, I but she's, she's calling them as a bookmark. Uh, this is the cardinal. So you could do the cardinal bookmark and the cardinal scissor fob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be cute. And then see, it's got the little, a little, oh, you can't, you can barely see it. The little check ribbon there for the top. And yeah. Then, and, and it's white fabric. We don't want to open this one because the seal and it, we don't want to lose she the stuff. She sealed it with the, her name, and we no one broke her seal. All right, and then this is the, this is the Santa Claus bookmark. He's not showing very good there, but he's super cute. Yeah, he's on is. a he's on a natural fabric Quite with a little red, oops, little red um, ribbon. So each one has a little different ribbon. Yeah. This one is green river. Yeah. This one is my favorite. This one. I like the fox too, but I like curly. Uh, it's called curly, but it's a little hedgehog. And he is so cute. Mm -hmm. And he's got like a little brown polka dot ribbon. So, and then the last one in the bookmark series is this, the cute. fox. And he's got a little orange ribbon, orange polka dot ribbon. You do that. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a little polka I don't trust him. I try my best. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. Now these are going to be fun because we got some um, Putini Putini um, pins and they go with the patterns. I'm thinking Putini Putini, put it in the side. Because and when we show the pattern, we'll show yes. the pins. Very, very good. good because good. we're still in Serenita. Serenita. I got it. I got it. Okay. That one is after Serenita. Okay, so we'll save that one. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to, and all hers are sealed because she has a, she's got her label on there sealed. It's her version of protecting it for copyright, you know, violations. It's, it's, it's just, you know, you're, you're just going overseas. You don't know. So, yeah. so I like to make sure the customer knows they're getting a sealed chart. Yeah. So this is um, Welcome to Halloween Town. And all her stuff is done with DMC. Very fun and easy. Mm -hmm. Very cool. She shows them on white fabric, off white fabric, but you could do them on any color if you really wanted to. This is my favorite. This one, this one's really sad because nobody pre-ordered this chart. And I'm like, this is my favorite one. So I ordered it for myself. Uh, this is Hocus Pocus. You get, it's like three little charts. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what it was. It was kind of confusing. So no, there's four little charts. These four oh. charts are on there, so you can make the little. You got the little witch and the ghost doing some potions. You got the little circle thing there. You got the little potions over here. I thought this one was the super cute little, all all that. The, uh, yeah, you have to try to do it in angle that way, no glitter too much. Yeah. <laughs> they put it the light. Yeah. They put it the light here for the picture. Like the fire. Yeah. Yeah. And this is uh Welcome Autumn. And it's got the little curly guy on little hedgehog. No, the angle that way. Uh, the other way. <laughs> and I'm even holding uh, I'm holding uh, my yeah. tongue the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you get the best you can. With I think maybe you pass it to me. I can show it better. No, it's it there looks bad. Is. I, I okay. You can't <laughs> see the difference. All right, you can hardly see the difference. But the main thing is, look at the number. We're going to show the number on here, and if you type the number in the website, it'll come up with the picture from her. Pisaccio di Aduno. Yeah, because she uses a lot of Italian names for her designs, but she goes by that um, the CV number CV two one three. I think this is Autumn Farm or something. I think that's what it was called. Presagio de Atuno. I know it's Atun. Autumn. I think the, the one is, mm. I think it's Autumn Farm. 
I don't know what is presagio. Mm. Or pesagio. Right. Here That's is fandao. Yeah. Here is another one of her foxes. She does her animals. Oh, they are so cool. This is autumn something. Melodia to But they're okay. But, don't, but they're not listed in the website this way. They're listed oh, as the English word. So, oh. so that's why I'm saying, look at the, it's CV214. Okay. Yeah. So that's, I think it's Autumn Fox, but um, but it's definitely CV214. <laughs> I know I'm going to get. It's Melody. Autumn metal, Melody? Oh, uh, Autumn uh, Melody. Yeah. I'm going to get a lot of questions on these. Melodia. These that we're showing. I know it. But they're too cute to not. And this is, I know this one's called group, it's a group photo, it's a group Halloween photo. Hocus Pocus. Yeah. There's no other way. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. And this is Heart on the Farm, is CV160. And again, all of them uh, Needlework Marketplace charts to make it easier for you guys. We still have it in the Needlework Marketplace section on the full, on the website. And we're only putting things there that's in stock. And we're, so that way you don't have to go through all over the place looking for them. Uh, this is Foliage of Autumn. This one gave it to him. She had a lot of really cute designs this time. I mean, last time they were really cool. No, last time she had all those Halloween ones. I got. Mm -hmm. I, I said, I need to make her design and focus because I have a ton of them I want to start. Um, this is the third one in the series from Country Cottage Needlework. It's the Beach Beach Boardwalk Bike Shop. And there's a little bike. So it's there's a list. There's a group of seven. And they're going to be the long format, or you do them individually. But they all have to use the same colors, so they're all these same softy, beachy colors. Mm -hmm. And now we have Poutini Poutini. This one is back in the shop. This is Booty You. Um, it's it's about that time for everyone to start stitching black Halloween stuff. So wow. there you go. I mean, those of you that were that's in the Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month Club, that first fabric, the orange one, this would look good on that. Yes. Or even some of the brown ones. Uh, this is another one that's back in the sh back in stock. It's not new. It's um, when I think of stitching, we all think of stitching. It was a really good one. And this is all DMC, so this is um, pretty cool. All right. And this is another one that's back in the shop. This is just one more, just one more chapter and other lies. That's for the book readers in the group. I thought it was, okay. All right. Oh, here we are. Now we're now we're to the new ones. Uh, let's see. This is it's mix. I'm yeah. It all mix. Yeah. So this is Autumn Friends. And it's got the little cool little hedgehog. Hedgehog must be a European yeah, thing. Little the, button. The little button, hedgehog button there. Yes. And so then this is Autumn Friends. So Autumn Friends, you can get the Autumn Friends. There is the little yeah. button. Yeah, and then for Autumn Friends, you can get the Autumn Friends uh, button pack. So I'll take this out. Okay. That you can put on the. Here you can see. Over here is a little button. And then in the top is the pins. Yeah. These are hard to get out. Yeah. All right. So here's the little pins. And these are separately, so. Yeah. I mean, these are all handmade by Poutini Poutini. She she's, does an amazing job with her little buttons. They're so cute. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the next one here is uh, Fall. Fall Trio 2023. So you get all three of the patterns. And that is, I'm not going to open it this no, time. Maybe you can see it. Yeah. Because it was too yeah. hard to get it out. <laughs> so that's yeah. the button pack, that, the, the pin pack that you can get to put on to, on this. Yeah. So she likes to put in, the, 
She puts so many because there's three pillows. So you put like two on this one, two on that one, two on that one. So she kind of spreads out mm -hmm. the love. And then this is this one is my one of my favorite. This one's my favorite one. This is the Moonlight Owl. And it comes with a little owl button. Button. And then this one also she has a she has a mini pin set that, you, so can, cute that you can get to fun. that you can get to, to go with the piece. Yeah. Both so gonna it's, it's a little hoot, another little baby owl. So you can have yeah. two owls on there. Up there in the corner. Yep. Oh, I guess and that's all of the um, now this no. was one that she had at market the last day when we were doing the invoicing. She said, I got one more thing. But wait, I got one more. Thing. I said you've been watching too much American TV, so she she just created this uh, Christmas pin set that you can use for any of your little Christmas pillows that you make from her or anybody else. I think you would have a shirt. Oh, no. Okay. No, that was. No. We had the shirt. Okay, we had the chart. I don't know what happened. Okay, maybe okay, we'll set it aside. That's not the one thing. There was another group of hollow. Holiday pins. Maybe he didn't pull it out. Okay. Or I missed it up. Yeah, he didn't pull it out. All right. So now and let's then? go to uh, Madame Chantilly. You know what? I'll I'll do this. I'll show the buttons here, and we'll pop the chart in over his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Christmas trio. It's the Christmas, Christmas trio. trio chart, and it's three Christmas pillows. And these would be the additional pins you would get to put on top of it. Yes. Those are very cute pins. All right, and now we've got Madame Chantilly. She has some very fun charts here. This is a cup of Halloween. I don't know which one's better to show this one. No, this one. That one. Okay. Yeah, that is more clear. Mm -hmm. And these are all stitched with DMC. So um, I like how she's done the pennants where there's all they're all individually a little different, but they don't look too difficult to stitch. They just look very fun. That you you can have fun to do them. I like this one. Mm -hmm. And then here is for um, <clears throat> autumn uh, autumn essentials. So this is a bunch of little autumny things, pumpkin pie. Um, I don't know who's doing mushrooms. Oh, I guess mushrooms is an autumn. You got pumpkin soup. This little thing here has got pumpkin soup inside of a little pumpkin. Of course, there's always a little fox somewhere. So this is a cute little one. Yes, it is. Yeah. I, I love how it's just DMC and just simple. This is Halloween in a jar. So the house is in a jar, and then you've got black roses on top. You like black roses? I like them cute. Yeah. And you don't see black roses. Yeah. So there's it's a, a good idea. Black roses, and there's a Halloween in the jar. So you do a little white um, stitch around there to make it look like it's a jar. Mm hmm. That's cute. That's a cute one. Mm -hmm. huh. And then here's another, this is, a, her stuff is so fun. It, it's really fun. And this is, um, this one has me, had me looking at it kind of weird. Cause I'm like, she looks weird, but once this, her arms come down here. You, you're like, it's her arms. I don't know. It's oh, like, I'm like, thinking she's a, holding her hand. <laughs> I know. That's what I can So okay. it, it's a fun you, you decide. Here, you guys decide. This is called Halloween party. I was looking at it. Look at look at her arms. It's like she's holding her head up above her head. But it's not. It's her arms are coming down. That's cool. <laughs> it's very fun. I love it for that. But there's a little green cake there. Right. And this is another one. Where green cake? She's holding a cake. Oh. Uh, oh. She's got she's all for a party. Alright. This is another one that you guys didn't pre-order, but I loved it and I got it for me. This is Santa and the Gingerbreads. Oh, isn't he cute? I don't only do Halloween. I love really cute Santas. A little gingerbread. It's like gingerbread girl, gingerbread boy, all different. I think he's burned a couple of those gingerbread, but that's pretty cool. Santa's flower. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it too. Mm -hmm. huh. And this one is back in the shop. This is... Um, Halloween Cinderella. 
So the witch is, I, I guess the witch is Cinderella or the pumpkin is Cinderella. I'm not sure who Cinderella is, but um, she's riding, driving herself. <laughs> so that one's fun. Yeah. And then we have, this is from From the Heart uh, Needle Art by Wendy. Uh, this is, she has a series that she's doing. Um, the little, she's called it the Little Sampler Series. So she started in January and what she does is she takes a bigger sampler and she pulls out a small piece of it or, or something of it and makes it a little sampler. And that's where we have a bunch, we have a couple people signed up to get this monthly. So this is one that, that this came out for this month. This is a little Dutch 1808 sampler. So that's the name of the big sampler. So if you look at the big sampler, you can see where she's pulled that from. So it's kind of like a reimagined sampler. Make it, you know, sometimes you like a sampler, but you don't have enough wall space to put them all up. So the little ones are kind of fun to do. This one's fun. This one's fun. Now it's Little Robin. This is Little Robin. This is her Halloween one. Yeah. And she told us how, about this one. This is kind of fun. This is Pumpkin's, uh, Pumpkin's Alight. So the cat was is actually her daughter's cat. There was a picture and she copied the picture and did that. Mm. And this is her son. She made him stand like that to, to, to sketch it. So so this is a family portrait, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I love this one. Oh, Ooh, and she's the designer focus for next September, next year. Yeah. I'm, I'll be stitching that. And for the ones who like butterflies, this is uh, Lee, Lee pa Papillon. 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 It's a very cute little um, Papillon. little butterfly on purple. You know what? I Stephanie has a really pretty fabric called um, Lilac that I just used for a piece. Mm -hmm. And um, that would look pretty on that. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, here's it. Okay, so um, this is Little Robin's. Um, this is a sampler. This is Elsa's Esms. Elisa Ism. Okay. Elisa Ism, 1827. And she was nine years old when she made this. So look at that. It's all one color. It's very pretty. I mean, you could. Ism. 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 Maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we've got this is another sampler. Uh, this is Charlotte Bridger, 1843. Okay, I need the part of this one. It's right there. I gave it to you already. It's right there. You got two together. See? That was a little yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So this is that one there. This is um, uh, Charlotte Bridger, 1843. Lots of words on this one. Okay. okay. Oh, and this is, now we've got a couple from uh, the Mindful Needle. This is her Halloween one. Ghosts Will Rise mm -hmm. by Pumpkins Fat and Witches Lean by coal black cats with green with eyes of green by all the magic ever seen the ghost will rise on halloween Ooh, that, that is that's cute. cute super cute see yeah. halloween doesn't always have to be scary it can be fun that's what i like about it right. and then um this is from um okay she had a series last year where she did uh she released a gnome every month and she'd sold those out like that. Uh, this year, she put them all together in a book so you can get all 12 gnomes in one book. And so here is a year of gnomes. Very cute, because then you have them all together. And put it down, a little down there. Okay. <laughs> where you can see everything. Yeah, because they're not the seeing name. the numbers. The numbers aren't part of the video. What numbers? The red numbers it says how long we've been talking oh. no I'm, I'm showing the <laughs> yeah. name uh this one is back in the shop this is from erica michaels uh quilting abc this is part three 
There's five parts in the series, so we have two more parts left, and then we'll all be out. So this one is the next group of letters in the quilt there, and then there's these three patterns additional that you can do. So each one will have a part of this bigger piece and then a little um, extra patterns to stitch. Um, these we have back in, in stock. This is um, Heart and Hand, Christmas Tiny Town. I did this one. I got it finished over there. Mm -hmm. As a drum. And then here's one. This is uh, Blooming Tiny Town. Isn't that cute? Isn't yeah, it flowers? is. This is Blooming Tiny Town. This is um, coming back to the store. This one's actually new for us. This is new? It's it's an older pattern, but it's new for us because we, we didn't have it. I'm thinking of how we have it last time. Really? Maybe yeah. maybe it sold out really fast. Yeah, because you put it this way. I do that to all of them. Okay. <laughs> all right. And if somebody is watching this from Costa Rica, yes, these are the charts you ordered, and I have extra, so. <laughs> oh, she will. She, she's the one who, who wanted these. So this, oh, this okay. one here, she also, this is uh, from Sarah. She's an Italian designer. This is called Stitching and Quilting Party, and it comes with a little wooden button that's painted. Mm -hmm. This is a big pattern. This is 278 by 265. Look at that beautiful house. Yeah. Uh, it goes right there on the clothesline of quilts. Or you can put a magnet and it is a needle mine. <laughs> then you'll have a hole in your in your clothesline. You'd have to stitch something. Yeah. That's a good idea with a needle minder. I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, these, these are new releases from um, Stitches, with, Stitches by Ethel. Uh, this is Vintage Bird. And I got to be careful because... The chart is on the back. It's a one-page chart. So that's um, Vintage Bird. That's a cute one. Okay. And then, so this must be her new series of, because they both look very similar. This is, a, so that, that looks like a pumpkin. So that's more of uh, fall. That's, that's more fall. Yeah, it is. Because there's a pumpkin there. And then this is Winter Green, which is Christmas tree. I like that one. I like the Winter Green. Those are fun. All right. Ooh, what do we have here? <coughs> okay. This Sorry, guys. is um, from Amy Brooken. Uh, here we go again. I mean, good morning. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love her, her, her mind, the way it works. It's just so fun. Let's start in the middle. And then here is, we all do this. We all do stitch craft. I practice stitch craft, and so do you. I do it at midnight when I'm stitching. <laughs> and, oh, this one I thought was so cute. This is trick and treat. And I love the little candy corn. Mm -hmm. And he's holding the hands of his friend, the pumpkin. The pumpkin. Or did he put his arm through the pumpkin and go, no, I don't know. I think he's holding his hand. But I, I think it's cute. Oh, and then there's another little pattern. Oh, look, there's another little pattern to stitch just a candy corn by itself. That's cute. I like stitching candy corns. Stitch them and eat them. Mm. Um, and then we have a couple of charts from uh, Cross Stitch Antiques. This is um, Viva Gazoo, Viva Maria, a sampler, a sampler of Italy. Italy. I can say that part. This is really cute. Viva, Viva Gazoo, Viva Maria. Yeah. So this is um, stitched with one color, uh, either DMC or Gentle Arts, or any other single red that you that your favorite red, Turkish, Turkish. Um, Red from okay. Skyworks? Hmm? Sorry, it's not Gizu, it's Jesu. Jesu. Jesu? Jesu. Jesus. Oh. What is that? Jesus. Okay. Yeah. It's a Viva, Jesus Viva Maria. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I uh, had to think in twice. It's oh. Spanish and French and Italian is close. Uh, very close. Yeah. Okay, and this is another yeah. one from Cross Stitch Antiques. 
This is Mary Garrett, mm -hmm. the it's Coverlet School, 1854. Those are really cool alphabets. Get those. And the, okay, here's the name so you can see the name. I'll hold it up for you. And then there's the very, very fun. I don't know which one. I think I mm. like that one a little better for me because it's got more things than just alphabet. I like different things instead of just alphabet. Yeah, this one is. Uh, I was uh, checking this one because it's got. See, it's got a bunch of the, fun. I'm thinking it has some Catholic stuff because, but no, I don't see. Any. Yeah, so I love all this stuff down here, which is fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's another here's another red sampler. This is from Isabella Hopper, uh, 1834, from Cross Stitch Antiques. And this was done with uh, NPI or DMC. Time for me to put it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look, we got a bunch of littles. A bunch of littles. <laughs> oh, the little wooden thing. Oh, oh! I didn't put them in yet, but I have them. I'll put them in later. No, it's not the website. No. Oh. Okay. So this is a round Britain, and they did it. They show it in red and blue. I like it in the red better, but there's here. It is blue. Where is um, still here? Oh. Uh, don't don't bend it over like that. Baby. It's open. It's okay. And they had this in red. Yeah, but that way you have to paint the wood, no? Yeah, but a different wood. No, the no, same. It's just finished different. Okay. All right, and then we have um, Hannah's Bluebird Sampler from JBW. That was JBW as well. Um, she does these things on these little bitty books. Wow, that's tiny. Okay, you definitely have to enlarge this to see it for me. But that's really pretty. Yeah, it's... And that's uh, Hannah's Bluebird Sampler. Okay. And then we have um, a sampler stocking from JBW. I thought this one was so cute. And I like the fact that you, you don't have to make it into a full stocking. You just cut a board and frame it like that. You can do that to ours. Yeah. The little one that I have from Blackbird. That's cute. That's cute one. And that's a sampler like stocking. It. Yeah. I like it. And then um, this is number five. This is a Christmas Ornaments 5 limited edition collector series. These are past charts that she had in publication that are no longer in individual publication. So she puts these in limited edition books. And this is the fifth one in the series. So mm. here's all the little goodies. If there's some in here you were looking for. Uh, you have to show the now. picture in the back. Yeah, I'll show it. Well, you, you can see what they've done with it. So yeah, look at that imagery. gorgeous tree. But I, I love the little reindeers. I love the little reindeer it. here, and then there's a little bell here. So there's so many cute ones. Perfect like for like a little that. retreat piece if you wanted something little for a retreat. Mm -hmm. For exchange? Yeah. Yep. Very cool. I mean, for me, exchange pieces don't have to be elaborate. They're just coming from the heart. And those are so cute. Yeah. This is um, is it the big the big one from uh, JBWs. This is the Bluebirds of Happiness. Wow. Yeah. I've got that one. It's very pretty. I wonder if Andrea got it, that one. I don't know. Because that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's very cute. Yeah. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we have a big box. This might be as long as my my uh, my video about my stash. This is from Rosie and Me, uh, A Stitching Good Day. My favorite chair plus floss tube plus stitching equals a very good day. Wow. I think this is a perfect stitch along piece. Yeah. Everyone should have this in their in their house. That's cool. Yeah. When I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. But I would change that skein of red floss to a skein of green floss. I think it would Of course. I think it would it would flow a little better for me. <laughs> and of we course, know. Of course. Really? Let's see, let's see where's she at? Is she's is she where's she at? Did I move her? Oh no, she's over there. She's she's right there. Um Winifred, my little witch right there. I've got her back in the shop. Oh yeah. She is a favorite. Every video 
I get people asking for her. We could. She is so cute. Oh my God, she's so funny. Let's get Wicked. But it's, it's Winifred the Witch is the name of the pattern. All right. And this is the latest from Shepherd's Bush. It's their, what they call autumn bag. It's the chart that you stitch on the orange bag. Pumpkin, it's called pumpkin. We will get the bags. They're coming, they're on their way. Well, it's in the way. So we have the bags coming. Yeah. Uh, we do have some of the Weeks Dye Works uh, Pearl Cotton 5 threads. We don't have all of them. And we don't carry DMC Pearl Cottons because there's too many. <laughs> so, uh, um, but we, we do carry what we can. Yeah. 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 Here's another, these are two, this is another one that I think you're going to like. This is a Halloween terrarium. I love the little dead body at the bottom. <laughs> and then I want to stitch this one. I think it's super cute because remember as a kid, you're making a terrarium. You put little rocks in the bottom, put some soil, you put some seeds and you grow some stuff in a jar. But I love the idea of putting the dead body in there. And then the pumpkins are stacked like candy corn. So they're going from dark to light. They look just like candy corn. Now one is scarier because we have a lot of land. I know, I can make a terrarium. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You wanna take a nap outside? No, thank you. All right. <laughs> Do you know guys, he and disappear. <laughs> All right, and this is another one from uh, Tiny oh, Modernist. Know. This is Autumn Autumn Tradition Sampler. So it's a, more of an autumn piece. There's a little, there's some bats, but some pumpkins. Um, it, uh, when you do it on uh, 18 count, it's seven inches by 10 inches. Oh, it's not that big. No, it's not that big. Cool. So I like that yeah. one. So it could go in an eight by 11 by 14 frame, a standard frame. It could go in a standard frame, I think, with a little bit of extra around it. That is so cute. Yeah. So. so many shirts that one season. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it was very fun. I love that one. I thought it was, that took me by surprise. I'm like, oh, ooh, wow. Because the little picture when I ordered it did nothing for what 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 we got. Yeah. Oh, and this is back in the shop. This is uh, Lincoln's Eagle from Teresa Kogut. It's mine's all finished and stitched. I'm waiting to get a special frame that I have my framer looking for. I want. I ha I asked him to look for me a frame with stars and see if he can order it for me. So, um, oops, this is in the wrong place. Uh, and then we've got another one from Teresa Kogut. This is um, Sewing Tomato, Stitchy Bird number two. I guess she has a, this is a companion for another one of her previous designs. That's a cute one. Yeah. I love her colors. Her colors is what sucked me into wanting to stitch all her stuff. Uh, this is funny. This is Fall from Grace. Uh, it's an Adam and Eve uh, sampler. Oh, is it? I don't know. It's not really a sampler. It's more of a stitch piece because there's no alphabet. But that's cute. And it's on, is it on a fox and rabbit? Oh, it's on uh, Dames, Dames of the Needle Old Top Hat. That black that we had a few weeks ago. I need more of it. And then we have... Oh, it is the same. The same. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All right, this one's back in the shop. This is Newcastle Bouquet. I started this two years ago for my birthday. So this may be another one that I could do on the 15th of every month because I have like, I have like maybe one little tiny corner. This is a big piece. Uh, I stitch on it for hours, but it's a very big piece, but it's gorgeous. I've seen it stitched and I just love it. I mean, it's so pretty. I think of it as, cause it's got cardinals. I think of it as a Christmas piece. But I, it could be out for all year long. It's it, but it's very gorgeous. White poinsettias and magnolias. Oh, look! Look what's back in the shop. Who just had this framed? <laughs> Other shirts coming today. This yeah. one, no, this one arrived no. yesterday. Yeah. So yeah. we got the chart. It's back in the shop. So that's that's what Silo Witches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pick a frame and, and the chart too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty convenient. All right, so now we have this is the big book from Teresa Kogut that everybody went crazy over. Uh, we had a ton of pre-orders for this one, but it wasn't part of market release, so it wasn't part of my top ten. 
it would have been number one if, if it was part of the market stuff. So this is called Seaworthy. It's a book of three charts. And these are all, these were designed by Triso. I love this one is, is so cool, her, her concept and everything. And then these are the other two little ones that's in the book. Mm. Nice book. And then here's her other book. This is uh, Dwelling Place, and it's got four patterns, and it's the Biscoin U and two little pillows and the big um, sampler thing, sampler piece there. Dwelling Place. Here's the big main one. Oh, there's that train every time and then there's the three little ones a good one mm. the colors are cool all right so that's it from Teresa so we're gonna do um what is this one huh? the designer this is um the elegant thread oh I already showed her stuff earlier in the little oh. she had a bunch of little things little tens yeah this is called uh Nancy silent night it's a pin drum so it 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 says Silent Night around it, and then you just turn into a little drum there and put it on a candle. It's That's a, that's a candle um, base. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool idea. I need to start looking, yeah. looking at candle bases. But yeah, so it's a cool piece. We have a couple of candle holders. Yep. Nice. And now this is a new designer from London. And he said, ooh, we got a box from London. Said, yes, this is... Um, Yasmin made with love, and this is Halloween ride. I thought this was super cute. There's an owl, the owl is so distinctive, a little fox coming. He's in the carriage. That's yeah, cute. I like that. And then this is Halloween's best. Is there a recipe in here? I wanted to see if there's a recipe. No, no recipe. Okay, I thought I was, I was like, so this is Halloween's best recipe. It's two little witches um, cooking in the kitchen, in the cauldron. It's it's cute. She, she has a green cauldron. Yep, I see that. Yep. And this is a uh, winter deer. I like that one. Yeah. I, um, on the photo in the website. So simple. Yeah, on the photo on the website, we have it showing it as a drum or as this piece and they're in the same photo mm. but this is all stitched with dmc so you're going to be changing color a cool. lot so it's it's four colors of dmc well two dmc and two dmv which is um dmc var variegated floss oh okay so so it's very cute yeah you could do it with any any of your colors that you you want to do it with very simple, pretty design. I like that one. Yeah. I really like this one. Oh, and it's very simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you never change too many colors. No. You say you have to change them. But this one in here is, is the variegated floss. Yeah, but oh, I like this one. Okay. All right, and then this My is- My book. This is uh, Autumn, Autumn Folk Bird. And there's that one right there. Very cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting like a Native American feel on that one for some yeah, reason. Yeah, Indian. Yeah. All right. Oop. This one is, oh, it's sealed. This is um, mm -hmm. Raven. And I thought this was so cool. It's got like spiders in the box there. Um, they did it on this purple fabric, but you could do it on, in, you could do it on the orange fabric or, or any green fabric or any color. Any a nice purple fabric yeah. like. Like what the witches are done on over, over above Ronnie's head, that which is right there. I was done on a nice purple. So don't let this purple scare you. This is <laughs> sometimes you know this is kind of jarring, but you can get a really nice color. And, and yeah, you have to to yeah. play with fabrics. And, yeah. No, the yeah. best choice you can. Yeah, a nice green would be good too. Of course. Yeah. And now we have uh, works by ABC. She. Her her design style is very interesting. She really is very ge geometrical, mm -hmm. very geometrical from what I've seen come out. So it's based off of a bowl. It's a bowl that I think she copied. Wow. And so it's Royal Swirl. So this is the chart, the pattern. Yeah. It's, and then that's her inspiration like, piece. 
It's like a bowl. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So that is cute. Again, you could, you know, change it, change the fabric color, make it even as crazy as you want or as neutral as you want. I love these kind of patterns like that. And this is um, Shalom. 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 And Shalom. this is a um, Hebrew art. Mm -hmm. and it's it's the Shalom. Yeah. So it's all, it's, it's the word. It's the word. word. In the, I don't know the Hebrew word, but yeah. it's the real word for peace. peace. Yes. So that's very pretty. I love how the letters are just forming oh. into the circle. Shalom is the real word for peace and is often used as a, as a greeting for both a, a hello and goodbye. Mm -hmm. yep. Come in peace and go in peace. Yes. And then this one may or may not be on Ronnie's list to do. A, a, auto, a trio of autumn flowers. Gorgeous. Yep. She has it charted with Cosmo, but she's got the DMC colors right there. But you know what? I think you could probably pull some over-dyed floss, possibly. I don't, I don't know. There's a bit, okay, there's a lot, of, a lot of numbers there. If there were less numbers, it would be easier. But it gets kind of hard if you've got too many numbers to convert it over. But I think it's very pretty. DMC? Yeah. <laughs> These videos are making his stash grow. <laughs> In my head. <laughs> because I had too many, many charts and I never go ten charts. I never go finished. <laughs> I never All go right. finished. So this is uh works by ABC. This is Starburst. Starburst. And I think she's giving uh here's what the pink and purple. Oh, okay. So this is the blue version. Cool. There. And then she's got something on the back here that says what the pink what the a uh, pink and purple version might look like. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, you can do it in, 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 in yeah, you just grab, colors. grab your four colors or a green. Or, you know what, in a variegated thread, like you have for, oh, variegated the, thread? for the club. Oh yeah, the cottage garden threads. Yes. It's, uh, one, it's only four colors. Yeah. So it's only four colors, and in the pack you get five colors. Yeah. So like, if you got a bunch of the reds or a bunch of the greens or the blues, you could play any with that. color. Yeah, the idea. I'm thinking the idea she put it here is you can do it in any color. Mm -hmm. It's my my feeling. Yeah. Give you the freedom to. Yeah. To color. Yeah. Uh, it's from is when I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And All I'm right. thinking the cottage. Garden threads would be perfect would be for that. Perfect too. for that kind of Now this is counting puddles. I saw this pattern. I just fell in love wow. with it. It has got Smyrna crosses and it's got Algerian eyelets, but there's no way to stitch it. I you have to do those things. I mean to make it look. It looks so pretty. It's part of the ghost coming in and out and the colors. It's all DMC. All DMC. Look at that. Wow. I love the pumpkin, how the pumpkin has got the artwork on there. Holy macaroni. Yeah. That is. I mean, you stitch it, you stitch it on a black, but I think it needs it. A black Lugana, even weave, it, it, it'll it work. Yes. The brightness. The, mm -hmm. Oh my god. It just glows. That's something I love to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, stop it. <laughs> But wait, there's one. One I'm gonna do. Yeah. One I'm gonna do. And then, the, so so she's got a style, and from what I'm <laughs> when I look at her stuff, it it's a different style than what we have. So it's it's kind of fun. It's look at that one. This is um, sweet summertime. My mouth go wide. Right. Okay, so is there a song about sweet summertime, Caroline? Because I, I think Caroline got this pattern. <laughs> All right, so this is Sweet Summer Time. That is cute. Oh, now, Lord. if you look, it's stitched on Ada. So her designs yeah. are Ada friendly. Yeah. Um, you just have to work on them. That one is, is Lugana. No, I mean, that is linen. Linen. But yeah. This but is, you can do it in any. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to work at it. Yeah. And then here's another, another one that's just... Magical. It is definitely magical. This is Santa's Moonlight. I want you to stitch that for me. No, no, no. 
I like the pumpkin one. You know, they're the same, but, but I, I, this, oh, this is uh, Santa's Moonlight. You can do this one. Santa's Moonlight. And you do it on a navy, so you would do it on a dark navy. That one had a lot of chain threads. Oh, and yeah. the sparkles of the reindeers. Yeah. Yeah. But this... But, but you do all the regular cross stitch first, and then you come back and do all this... All this, um... That has a special... Uh, it's, it's, um, smart crosses, um, and then there's back stitching. Some of them are just back stitching. And if you can, oh, see, there you go. Look at those pictures. Those are, some of those are just back stitches and, yeah. and it's just the way she has it designed. You just follow the way the design is. You're doing some on top of each other. So, you know, it's once they're all done, then they look good. But if you, you can't really focus on one to be perfect. You got to do the whole Beautiful. line of them. I like his t shirt. <laughs> All right. Okay, you got three. Oh. <laughs> this is another one from Counting Puddles. So if you want something smaller to play with to see if you like her style of design, this is Rabbit's Bright Winter Night Ornament. Good Lord. <laughs> it's a long title. But isn't he cute? So he's got some interesting back stitches on top of the light bulbs to, to give them um, a 3D look. It's not a special stitches, no? No, it's just long, it's just back stitches. Oh. So she's just done like stitches on top of your stitches. She's used two threads to do those thick stitches. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see, look at the pattern. These are the, the shapes you're doing. Mm. Wow. It's a color. It, these are color patterns. Yeah. yeah. So this is Squirrel's Bright Winter Night Ornament. So this is the companion piece, the little squirrel. So he's got the lights too. So they would be cute little <laughs> companion pieces together. Yeah, they are cute. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's what I, I, I really enjoy so much about the markets that we go to virtual or, or in person is you get exposed to different designers from all over the world you get exposed to new design ideas and stuff this and now we got rosewood manor this now is, we're back in home <laughs> <laughs> this is um this was a this was a piece that a lot of people talked about at stitching the wild retreat mm. so we had a, somebody had finished it i think they had it on the brag table and a couple of people were asking for it so i waited until we got so Rose told this event, so I asked Karen, I said, hey, we're going to order, can we order this too? So this is parchment tapestry. Look at all those flowers. Oh. Those flowers in, in the little honeycombs are so cute. And each one is a, is a finish. Each one is a mini finish. I mean, you could just stitch one of them and make it your small. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And it's, it's just very, it's very English. I think it's, yeah, it's, yeah, so I think she's, it was something that she saw when they went to a historic home in England and it was on a needlepoint fire screen. Or, so she... Cool. And this is the next one in her series, uh, Creation Number 3. We had two charts. So this is Creation Number 3. Oh, there it is. And there's that. These are fun. And Karen always puts in multiple patterns for you to do multiple smalls in addition to, to the main pattern of you her book. You can show that. Yeah. Closer. Yeah. These Thank are, you. These are, <laughs> but there's like other other little patterns. Yeah. All in the book. This one is. Oh, this is very pretty. This is Hawthorne Hill sampler, and it's done on a chocolate brown. The, you could, I bet in person it just go, pops, you know, the color, the bright colors on those dark colors. Mm -hmm. So I recommended, so the called for fabric is um, spice linen from Picture This Plus 28 Count. I'm suggesting uh, fabrics by Stephanie. She's got one called Driftwood. I pulled the colors and laid them on there. Mm -hmm. They look amazing. So, yeah. so that's a good alternate. I know how hard it is to get Picture This Plus these days. Yep. And then here is another one of her Rhapsody um, series. This is Rosy Rhapsody. Oh, look at the rose. 
very cute. You could stop it. Uh, you could stop at the alphabet and just do the top part if that's what you inclined to do. But I think the alphabet is very gorgeous too. Lots of fun. Man, she says, lots of fun extras. <laughs> she makes sure you know there's extras in there. And then, so it's, let's see, how many threads? Uh, it's only two colors. Only two colors. So you'd need four, four skeins of one and two skeins of another of DMC. So you could get a couple of cottage garden threads. Have fun coloring. Mm. I mean, you could get one variegated floss and one DMC floss and, and see what it looks like. This is Dreaming of Autumn Leaves. She's got a Dreaming series where she does all the different types of things. This is all the autumn leaves. Now that we're, we're living up, we call, now that I'm, I'm saying we're living up north, compared to Florida, we are north. We'll have changing seasons. Down in Florida, you had green all year long, so now we, we're up north. Yep. <laughs> we're still south of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> all right, and this is the last one from Rosewood Manor. This is Lebanon House Sampler. I love... Excuse me. I love the look of this house. Sorry. It, it just... I don't... Mm -hmm. Look at it. The house is so cool. I would do just the house. Like, see, like the house and the trees. Yeah, we do, like like that with the house and the trees. It's very cute. I love that. Is it DMC or no? I think it's overdyed. Mm. I gotta see. Got to see. Oh, it's it's Weeks Dye Works overdyed. And of course, there's more. I love she's doing it's like more fun designs i love that all right um and now we have kathy barrick this was number 10 on my list this is good intentions oh counting um there's nothing about you. counting um uh puddles was number nine and eight so we saw those so this is good intentions was number 10 from kathy barrick so you could frame it, drum it, and if you can frame it, you can you can make it into a pillow. I think mm. it'd be a long um, well, yeah. kidney pillow. Yeah. yeah, of course. Anything you frame, you can do in a pillow. Exactly. Except for Halloween and Hawkman Hollow, that would be a big no. pillow. <laughs> that could be a blanket. <laughs> no, but I, I love that one. And this next one here is haunted. And it's in two different colors. Yeah, yeah, there's two colorways. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And this one has two patterns. This is haunted, and you get two different patterns. You get a small pattern and a big pattern. And it's very cool. Okay, I'll let you look at the little one first. So you can yeah. see the little one. Yeah. Okay, and then here, now look at the big one. Oh, I love that one. If I remember right, she said she couldn't decide which one she <laughs> liked better. Mm. And so she did both. <laughs> wow. I love it when I love it when designers can't decide and they, they give us both. Let's see. Oh. That's cool, isn't it? The ghost is hanging in there and Yeah. And the wing and the designs on the bat wings, all the different bats have different wings. Yeah. yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And so now we have another Halloween from Kathy Barrick. Uh Tis near Halloween. This is for our cat friends. And of course, the cat must be the biggest thing on the thing, and the little witch is really small. So this is fun. And it's got the little saying in there. Let's see. It says, hmm. when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers to near Halloween. That's a different way of doing that phrase. Hmm. And Kathy's stuff is normally done with needlepoint silks, and she also has a DMC conversion. This is my favorite. This is my favorite one. And it wasn't on the list, but I will be stitching this. This is Come On In. Come on in, take off your skin, dance around in your bones. <laughs> so the skeletons are nudist. <laughs> but it's so cute. I just, the saying alone is. is you like doing skeletons. I like doing skeletons, but I love the saying alone. What fabric is that on? Where did I get the fabric at? Ooh, Ancient Ruin by Fox and Rabbit. I know them. I can get that fabric. Who they are? <laughs> <laughs> well, Love you, Karen. <laughs> I mean, you, well, you could do it on that, or you could do it on Elephant's Run. It's a gray fabric. They've got a couple of nice gray black fabrics that you could stitch on if you don't like super dark. Yep. 
Right. And then um, I want to open this one because this is, um, she's done this before. We have some other stickers from Kathy Barrett, some other Halloween stickers that you put on the back of your finished pieces. So this, there's a grouping of, of these. So you'd put this, there's like the little witch one. And then you fill out what the chart is, what the design is, that you, and when you stitched it, you peel mm -hmm. it off and you stick it on there. You're not sure the little one. This is just a piece of paper. Oh, it's sorry. what the it's the labels for your needlework. It's what the label is. But you could oh. you could stick it on anything. You could glue it yourself. Oh yeah, she looks like she was fun to be around. Um, clowns and Halloween, or very spooky. Um, another, another. That looks like my sister when she was little. And was there? I was maybe there was a thing where the women would would pose for these pictures. I don't know. That's fun. That's an old style Halloween. And this is this is my favorite one right here. Look at that. She's cool. I would love those. That would be a cool full coverage. Mm hmm. Oh my god, I would go blind, but it would be fun. And then the last one is the skeleton thinking. Thinking what whip to do next. But these are definitely fun. Eh, they're all in there random, but they're all back in there. Okay, feel it. All right, and then next designer <laughs> this is like my whip parade <laughs> my my stash parade it feels we like almost it. halfway <laughs> well you've definitely got a lot of stitching done by now hopefully we didn't go too fast i'm trying to pace it uh this is from dirty annie's this is old salem sanitarium and i got this one for me and i did order some of the um blood splatter from jody so I'll, I want to try that fabric on this piece. You know what? I love this part right here. I got to show it. So there is an actual sanitarium in Texas, supposedly, that you could spend the night in for $99 a night. I don't know if you get electrocution or not, but you might get jello pudding. You can be ghosts there. <laughs> Definitely should be ghosts there. Yeah. All right. This one here, I'll let Ronnie say this. What's the name of this chart, Ronnie? Face it. No, no, say it, say it, say it, say it. No, I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's sheet face. <laughs> oh. Do you know what he want me to say? <laughs> hey, it's in it's in good keeping with the pattern. And this is yeah, Mister and Mrs. Dracula. I love this Mister and Mrs. series she's got going on. She's got the patriotic one. She's got a bunch of different ones. And then if you're not into Halloween, you can do Mr. and Mrs. Autumn. There's Mr. and Mrs. Autumn. And this, oh, I love this one. I gotta do this one. This is German Santa. So the question- I love that one. So I was talking to Princess Leah and Ginger, and the question came up, is this German Santa because there's a German Shepherd there? And if that's the case, they think there should be a French Santa with a French poodle there. But yes. it was just, you know, we were kicking it around while they were out playing in the yard. So it was, you know, it was thought. It was deep conversation. So so if we put it out there, maybe we, there might be a French Santa with a poodle. Yep. <laughs> that could be a good idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then the next one here from Dirty Annie's is Frosty. Frosty. This one's a very That is so very cute. Pretty. This it, I yeah, love it that you can do baby. that you can do a snow person, snow man, snow woman, and it doesn't have to be all white. But it's very yeah. reads very it's wintry. Different. Yeah. Now with a baby. Yeah. In the arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess she just picked up very, a ball of snow and made a baby. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. And this one, I love this one because I love old time Halloween. And this is very, reads very old style Halloween. Boo cat. Boo cat. And he's got like shoes like he's got, like he's a witch. Or she's a witch. It's a boo cat. <laughs> very cute. Uh, ooh, what do we have next? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. This one is on my list to do. Oh my gosh. But I have to do it after I finish 
dog's declaration because um, the girls will be mad at me. This is uh, Ink Circles Clouds Over Verdele, Ver and it's stitched with Belsois silk. My favorite, favorite silk, variegated silk. Look at that. Those colors. How many colors is in there? It's not that many colors. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine colors. There's only nine colors? Yeah. It looks like there's a million colors in there the way it's broken out. You can out. do it with DMC too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's got the DMC conversion, but yeah. but Belsois is my favorite threads. My favorite silk threads. Yeah, it's only good. nine colors. Yeah. Ooh, super Wow. Cute. Yeah. And then there's another ink circles here. This is wildflowers. And this is for the purple people out there. For the purple people out there. What's it done? Um, cottage Garden, right? Is it Cottage Garden? CCT. Um, classic Color Works. They used the initials. I was trying to figure out what it was. So it's Classic Color Work Threads or DMC. Yeah. Very cute. Okay, and this is two colors. Ragoli. Yep, so pick your two favorite reds, I would say. Uh, Rogoli Lace. Yeah, but that is a candy shards that you know how to do is exactly with the same red, or yeah. you can do a different color. Yeah, because there's only two symbols, so you pick a dark color and a light color, and you can make it purple or green or blue or yeah or any of your favorite color which is fun uh, teal you know um it's only two colors pink yeah they're cool and here is and now for the number one chart of the of the sale of the market assembly required and i think some of us are still being assembled uh, so this is it. Oh, this is and no. it's yeah, okay. and it's done with one DMC. It's a variegated DMC. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So basic. So then you could do any other, any ver single variegated color you wanted to. Yeah. Now these are not new, but I Sue was at this at the market, and I wanted to get back up on these. That's four, three, two, one. I won't get them in order. So this is the North Pole Chamber of Commerce. It's a four-part series. You can stitch them all together or individually. Um, I'm still torn on which way I want to do it, but this is the first one. That See, this is what it looks like when you stitch it all together, or you can stitch it just the, the. So this is part one, Chamber of Commerce. Is that what it's called? Um, Fully works. Public Works. Where's it say? Right oh, here. Department, Department of, of Public, Public Works. Works. There it is. Yeah. All right. That's the first one. This and the second one is my is my favorite, featuring Mrs. Claus Enterprises. Because I love clothing, stitch clothing. It, it's just so cool. So that's the one that's on my list to do. And then I think this one's cute too. This is part three. Featuring the sweet shop and toy emporium. So you've got like you could either you could you could split this up and just do the bottom half of the top half if you wanted to. And then the fourth part is um the reindeer flying academy. And it, and it's got just a bunch of heads of the reindeer. Now this okay, if you're if you're in the 50s, if you're if you're age 50 and above. Don't get don't get a shell shock. This is a paddle. I mean, it's a board. It's it's no, it's a paddle. It's a board, <laughs> but it says burr. <laughs> we all see it as a paddle, but the kids nowadays see it just as a wooden stick. They don't know what it is, but it makes us be good. And this how is, many your mother broke? <laughs> every Easter we would get the the paddle with the ball on there, and like twenty minutes that would break off, and she'd have two new paddles for the. Till the next time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can barely sit down. <laughs> All right. This is um, the next one from uh, Sue Hillis. Save the bees. I thought it was. This That's is, so cute. This one's, I love the bicycle series. This is Save the Bees. Yeah. 
I mean, here's here's the grouping of them. There's so many of them out there that she's doing. These are my book. Yeah. I have, I've got the winter one and the summer one in my stash. I showed you before. I do love the new B one because it's black and yeah. it looks really cool. So I like a spring. Oh, spring is pretty too. Yeah. I want oh. the spring. Oh boy. We are in trouble. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can make. Yeah. All right, so these are in plastic. Yes, because they were heat sealed, or maybe. Oh, really. no, tell me all that ones are in plastic. I don't know. And There's only that. three. So this is a New York Dreamer. This is autumn in a box. So she's had another one. She did the winter in a box, I believe. Mm. I remember seeing it. So you just stitch it and, and wrap it around one of the little boxes like that. Oh, yeah. I'm saying I think there was a winter box. It's on the back. I should have read it. So there was the winter box. You right. And one. then the next one here. I like this one too. This one is for a uh, stitchers. It's uh home is where the fabric and floss are. And I like the fact that you can make it into one of those little uh, stitch trays. Ronnie. Right. Make it into a stitch tray. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So there's that. That's super cool. I didn't the other one. Okay, so there is that one. Okay, and this is the next one. Laundry again. Laundry, the never-ending cycle. You never get caught That's up. That's true. You never get caught up. The basket is like endless. Yeah. And now we've got Twin uh, Peaks. Twin Peaks. I'm gonna pull a couple of these out to help me along. This is not a new release. This was a, somebody had asked for it. And I, at, when I'm with a designer, it's always easy to ask for an older pattern that was hard to get from, from different places. So this is the Seafarer's Journey. And it's, look at that. Mm, I know cute. somebody who likes boats. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a cute one. Patriotic. I know someone who likes patriotic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this is the Twin Peaks uh, Snowman 2023. That's so cute. Yeah. And so when we I were when we went to visit them on their on the, um, the booth on the booth in the virtual thing, um, she had took one of the some this one and the Santa one, and she didn't stitch them. She took them and made photocopies, prints, printed them, and attached it to fabric somehow or the other. And made them into little stand-ups. But I think you could do the same thing. You could stitch it and have it have like a, a finisher doll. make it into a little stand-up. Even if you're cutting doll. Yeah. Well, it won't be exact, but I mean you could get it. Yeah. Kind of, kind of cool. Yeah. You might have might lose this the the shovels, but then you could always find little shovels at like a hobby store to stick in the little pillow. Yeah. yeah. But that yeah. was that was a it I was like that idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then here is uh, 31st of October. It's only two colors. I think we can handle it. Black and white. Mm -hmm. Or if you're really lazy, you could do just black and leave the white off. How? You go lose the no. 31st? No, because it'll be the same color as the fabric. Oh. You could stitch it on an orange. Oh, okay. Or, gotcha. or a purple. I'm just leaving them. You stitch it on a purple, yeah. too. Yeah. That's a good idea. Smart. <laughs> Save the stitches. <laughs> All right, this is a cardinal sampler. I think this this is a very pretty one. Yes. Very pretty. <laughs> I'm keeping running awake here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we've got um, Christmas Barn. This is interesting the way they, they made it. Fill it into a standard cut frame because they added fabric and rickrack mm -hmm. or decorative trim to make like it that. fill it in so i mean you can do your framing yourself this is a piece of fabric that they added. looking like grass so um that's kind of cute yeah sometimes you have those stock frames that are like i like that frame what are you gonna put in it yeah but i do like that frame like <laughs> all right this yeah. one when i saw it online i wasn't sure about it but then when i saw it in person i'm like oh my god these are so stupid they're cute they're super cute it's called chris mice ornaments and they're all mice i mean look at the little eyes okay uh, let me show them. this is them as a grouping 
I love the little one who's putting mail in the mailbox and the little soldier. And then this one, what's he holding? He's holding like a little bag or something? An ornament? No. Piece of cheese? He's holding Where? a piece of cheese. This one, what's he holding? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What so I don't know what he's holding, but I think he's so cute. I love his eyes. And then this one right here, dressed as Santa, is holding a, a piece of cheese. And then um, this one's skiing. They're cute. I Get me with the cuteness. All right. Uh, this is for our readers out there. This is Little Women. You know who you are. Hmm. I like that one. Yeah. You read the, you saw the movie Little Women. Little Women. Yeah. All right. And then here's the Twin Peaks Santa 2023. I love the European wow. Santas. Mm -hmm. so, and this one you could also do as a stand up. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love it. A little creative. You're a little creative there. With a little cat. Yeah. Oh. And a, a duck. No, it's not a duck. It's a, a duck. Is it duck it? is a duck. <laughs> is it? What is it, guys? <laughs> is it a goose? It could be a goose. A goose. I, I, yeah, it's a goose. Okay. Christmas goose? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not, not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> duck is a duck is a duck. <laughs> nope. All right. Well, we're, get, we're getting there. I mean, this is this is a little bit what I went through when I did my stash thing. I'm like, oh my oh god, this my is never going to end. But you get so into it, it's just fun. I'm afraid I forgot put it that one side of the plastic. Ah, uh, we'll get to it. This uh, now we've got uh, two charts from Barefoot Needle Art. This is the broom shed. The detail on this one is so cool. I mean, she really, yeah. she really did an amazing job on this one. And it's classic color works and DMC. But I just love this was so cute. It's done like on a light purple. Uh, lab, I like light, the board. Light, yeah. Oh, a little board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And then this this one is another cute one from them. This is out the Owl Terrace. Yeah, look at that. Very fun. Very fun. Doesn't really say Halloween, but it could say autumn, fall. Yeah. So I mean, you don't always have to do Halloween. Everything doesn't have to be Halloween. Well, it does, but. Oh, All right. good. Now we have um, Carriage House Samplings. It's the chart. That's just the. Yeah, Sampler of the Sea. Yeah. So this is um, Sampler of the Sea. And this is the chart. Now, someone had asked me if we were carrying the boards. This is not a board. This is a frame. And the information to order the frame is on the chart. So it's a frame. So your mm. framer would be able to get that for you. I thought that was interesting because you see it, you think, oh, it's a board. You just attach it on there. But it's a frame. You fit it inside. So it's mm. pretty cool. Let me see it closer. See, it's, it's framed. It's oh, kind of looked okay. In there. Yeah. I like that idea. Well, there's a board they're cutting for us as a frame. Yeah. All right. And then here's the next one from Carriage House Samplings. This is Stardust. Yeah. That is done on orange. That looks like, does that not look like uh, Foxy? The orange that Foxy and Rabbit made for us for the club? Yeah. Looks very close. Cool. Yeah. I love that. Okay. All right. This next one. I love this one. And the fact that it's it's designed with needlepoint silks, and I just finished Halloween and Hawkman Hollow. From, from Carriage House, and it's done with needlepoint silks. I can imagine these colors probably just pop so much, the needlepoint silks. This is Skating Santa stocking. It's a long, cool stocking. Is it an old-fashioned stocking or what? Yeah, old-fashioned stocking. There's no name on it. And so you just finish it like that. Mm-hmm. And it's got the blues, it's got trains, it's got toys, it's got a Raggedy, <coughs> Raggedy Andy doll there. You know, remember those? It was like a little train. So I don't know, just very um, reminiscent, I, I, I would say. That is what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then somehow or the other, I just noticed this pattern. I don't know how it got past my Halloween eye, so I have to go back and get some of this. This is Witching Hour from uh, Finally a Farm Girl. Is she like the cutest or what? Yeah. Huh. I'm like, how did I not? I didn't even notice. 
Magneto goes. Mm -hmm. the and the and the pinch. I don't know. The pendulum looks like something like a sickle. Weak style works in DMC. Yep. And this is the O O Florida sampler. Oh, oh, Wait. oh, Florida sampler. Wait. Yeah. So this is um. And and Chrissy Chrissy is doing like an interesting story about her stuff too, so it's kind of fun where this the history of this piece comes from. So um, that's pretty cool. Okay. Now this one I did I do have in my stash. I did get this. I could not not get it. It's a Frankenstein from Finally a Farm Girl. It's the Moonlight Serenade. So Frank is serenading. The Bride of Frankenstein. He's still trying to catch her. She just doesn't want it. But see, and they did on Ada. So you could, I mean, do it mm. on anything. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, the Halloween freak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this is a uh, quiet okay. Christmas, Christmas moment. moment. So Mama Claus or Mama is Mrs. Claus and Santa. One stitching and one's putting the tree up, I think. Yeah. Very simple, quiet evening. He learned about me. Mama Claus. <laughs> I like it. I like Mama Claus. It's fun. All right. And this is From the Heart. This was her new releases. This is Elizabeth's Winter Basket. And there's two, two designs in this packet. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I think this one's really cute. Oh, like, one is, no, that goes with that. This is um, Quaker Friends. Again, you could you could make this could be right at the front of your house. You know, when that you come is. in the house, so you could do it in the bright teals and blues. That is better with friends. Yeah, like teals that. and blues or greens. I mean, you could change this to. To match your decor, what your decor is in your house. Mm. And I think it's a very fun piece. I like that one. Yeah. And it looks like it fits in the 5 by 7 I mean, it's very small. And then we got Glendon Place. Let me get... And how did... All right, here we go. Right, let's do... That one first. Yeah, we'll do this one first. This is a uh, Christmas greeting. By Glendon Place. And she has, she's created a thread pack for it. It's got the Silk LeVay uh, thread pack. So um, these are going to be very sparkly because it's all sparkly thread. Mm -hmm. So it's all going to just pop. Yeah. It's going to be it's gorgeous. In nine colors. Yep. Nine, right? Yeah, nine. Every one of these colors is sparkly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going, I cannot wait to see this stitched up. Wow. Yep. All right, there's that. And then here is Halloween Wishes. I thought, I think this one's cute too. Um, I'm really look, leaning towards this one myself. Of course I am. How can I not? I mean, basically the wall behind us is almost a Glendon Place wall. There's 80% Glendon Place up on this wall. Oh. Mm -hmm. That one in, in that metallic first too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. Wow. But it's actually designed for Weak Style Works. Mm. So it'd be variegated. This is Eat an Apple. Eat an Apple, save the core, plant the seeds, and grow some more. <laughs> I like that. This is more of a spring piece than a fall. I guess fall is when you're collecting the apples. And the seeds. And this is all done with Weeks Die Works threads. I like how they do the apples. And this is another fall piece. This is a uh, farm fresh pumpkins. Very cute little piece. So that's done with Weeks Die Works also. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, oh. 
this one i like this one this is um jan hicks creates huntington hall i mean the crown i i, I don't know i would look at that piece isn't it just pretty i love the crown in the center i'm trying to figure out how you would do it would you just do part of it mm. or would you say forget it i'm going to do the whole thing Maybe just yeah. do the whole you could do it as as a drum could you do it as a drum could, i don't know could, no i think it's too big enough. there's no such thing as a big drum a big five gallon drum okay whatever <laughs> do a drum <laughs> just gotta get a lot of cotton and fill it up with <laughs> All right, uh, this is Silver Bells by Jan Hicks, and she's given two different fabric choices, looks like. And yeah. Maybe, I think it's the same color. I think it's just two different fabric choices. But it, I'm not sure which one I like better. I like both. Maybe that's why she did two. I, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. But the blue is pretty, but I like this, this one myself. The blue looking more bright. Yeah. But the green looks better on the other fabric. <laughs> I, I just, just say. Whatever. All right. And this is uh, another one from Jan Hicks. This is Feliz Navidad. Look at those colors. These are some pretty colors. Feliz Navidad. And now you get the song in your head. Feliz Navidad. Very pretty. That's cute. Yeah. I like that one. Mm-hmm. And this is a series that Jan has started. This is uh, Flor for Mike for for Grafa, Florographica, Florographica number two, Hydrangea, Polygraphica. Yeah. So we are working on getting the um, cottage garden threads. There's two cottage garden threads in this for this pattern, and I think there's so many cottage garden <laughs> threads for each. So there's a part of four. She's doing them in four so you can stitch them all together or individually. So she's got them like that. Mm. I don't know if I'm showing it enough. So um, we are working with Cottage Garden. I got an email out to them to get the called for threads for the four series. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is what I've been waiting for. I haven't had this here for a while. So these were at Praiseworthy Stitches and the pattern, you get all three patterns in the, in the little pamphlet here, mm -hmm. in the chart. So you've got a Christmas, Halloween, Halloween and then um, any other season, I guess. So these are, they snap together. You stitch them on snap together or containers or trays. So if you want, if you want to, or you can do it on regular fabric. Yeah. But this we got, so this is like the red one. And so you would snap it together. And where's the picture? Is it right up here in the top? What it would look like when it's snapped together. And here's the black one. Oh, there's no one there. No. You're showing backwards. I'm showing the color. And then there's the purple. Oh. So I'm trying to show that there's three yeah, different colors. Yeah, but the colors. buttons is the but, same color. The, but the colors. Oh, but. never mind. So it's done on a 14 count vinyl. It's 14 count vinyl that you're stitching on. Yeah. So, ah, and you snap it together. The, there's now no looking. Yeah, you don't see the snaps because of the same colors. Yeah. Vinyl. But anyway, that's, um, we didn't get and that. The corner is the. Yeah. We didn't get that many of them. We wanted to try them to see if you guys liked yeah. it, but I thought it was a cool idea, especially for retreats. You just unsnap it. Oh, wait a minute. It, in your bag. it is. It is the picture. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside when it's stitched. Yeah. And then the outside. And then now. Yeah. They're looking that way. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a stitch area, so it would not take you a long time to stitch. Mm -mm. You could probably even stitch it at a retreat if you sat down long enough. <laughs> Most of us don't sit down long enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now we have... Okay, so here we have... We have um, Halloween Biscoin U. Uh, this is the Halloween Biscoin U from them, from Praiseworthy Stitches. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's two different ones. I think it's the top and the bottom is what they're showing. Or, 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 or the two different colorways. Maybe two colorways, but 
I don't know. I wasn't sure. I've been thinking up in this. Yeah. Time. But anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Both colorways, pick and choose. I think it can be two colorways. Yes. And this this is a funny, this chart has a funny name. This is uh, Haunted Hootin' Natty, a wee ha haunting, a wee haunting. That's a cute one, look at that. Look at all those pumpkins. That's something you like. Yeah, yeah, definitely something I like. Uh, and it's a, Kathy probably yeah. too. There's a series, they've got two others coming out in the series. Mm. So we'll be looking for it. And these, you know, normally, Praiseworthy Stitches, they do those gigantic <laughs> scenes. It's kind of nice to have these little scenes for yeah. So we can we can sh we can uh, showcase them. All right, this is not a new release. This is back in the shop. This is Simple Gifts. They have a couple of um, s different subject matter called Simple Gifts. There's Simple Gifts Halloween, Simple Gifts Christmas. This is Simple Gifts Courage, and it's for breast cancer. So this wow. is a, a lot of people are currently stitching this design for breast cancer. Wow. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a stitch along. Pam and Steph's doing a stitch along with that. Oh, is that one? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Yeah, very pretty. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking Pam is starting uh, stitch con. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, I can't remember what yeah. they... All right. And then here is the last one from Praiseworthy Stitches. This is 13 Days of Halloween. So it's kind of like a little countdown. Kind of a little countdown uh, piece here for you. A little couple of buttons you can add for fun, you, not necessarily, but it's a fun yeah. piece. I love the vultures in the tree. <laughs> All right, and then we have Rebel Stitchers. Got two designs here. This is the snow angel. I can imagine Abominable Snowman there making a snow angel. <laughs> it's it's kind of cool. That looks like a. Uh... I, Bigfoot. Yeah, but it is. It's the Bottle it's Snowman. Bigfoot. Which, it's the version of Bigfoot. The ah, snowman one. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And then this is Louisa Fletcher, 1860 from Rebel Stitcher. This was her sampler. That's her uh, version of it right there. And I believe this antique is the English. antique. This is the original. Um, and then this okay. is the reimagined or redone. As you see, there's a big old hole right there. Big and old hole you. right there. Yeah. She was nine when she stitched this. Oh my God. Cool. What do we have here? And then we have Sweet Wing Studio. This is Friendship Above All Ties. Does bind the heart and faith in friendship is the noblest part. It's called the noblest part. And it skeins the floss. So it's for our stitchy friends. Everybody's a color skein. Mm. It's cool. It's cute, cute, mm -hmm. cute. And this is the third one. This is the third one in the series. It's a little autumn. We have a little spring and a little summer. Here is a little autumn. I like these. It's so detailed. The little pieces are so detailed and look very fun to do. And it's not that big. It's um, 88 stitches by 58 stitches high. So it's, you know, it's like a five by seven, possibly. Or maybe a little bit smaller, four by six, maybe. <laughs> he can't wait. Nope. Mm. All right, and then this is for our butterfly lovers out there. You know who you are. Harvest butterflies. My dear Peggy. <laughs> Look at those little butterflies. You don't have it ready. Yeah. No, it's new release. Uh, heart, heart hope, harmony, home, happy. She can pre-order. Yep. I don't know if she pre -ordered. Yeah. That was pretty. Yep. Right. We're getting there. We're about halfway. <laughs> No, we are down in one fourth of the. All right, this is another new designer for us. This is um, samplers and primitives. This is the Autumn Quakers, and it's two designs there on this on this chart. Very cute name. 
Uh, samplers and primitives. Yeah, but the Autumn Quakers. Sure, there's no one there. Oh, he's being bossy. <laughs> he must be hungry. Hey. He must be hungry. <laughs> All right, and now we have the forced sampler. I love how the deers are, are connected there. Here's the forest sampler, and here's the deers. Very soft colors. This is not a harsh, bright color piece. It's very soft. Yeah, it is. Soothing piece. The deer's just, the deer, oh, look. Okay, so here's the deer, and that's Princess Leah and Ginger chasing the deer. That's what they do with the deers here in the, in the neighborhood. Yep, they do that. Like, wow, they really look like a picture. <laughs> so they're like, get off my oh, lawn. Yes. <laughs> All right, this was a, oh, what's Four on the list? Years. This was a very popular one. Uh, it's it's in the top 20, it's not in the top 10. This is um, 1869 Thanksgiving pin cushion. I love the concept of the pumpkins being yellow and white versus orange, orange, orange. It's very um, relaxing. Mm -hmm. It looks very sophisticated too. So you can pop this in right next to a pillow with the orange, orange and green pumpkins, and it looks pretty cool. I was thinking when you say eighteen sixty nine, I said you can change the nine for the eight, and it's your birthday. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I wasn't born in. I'm sorry. I wasn't born in eighteen sixty eight. This is what Ronnie's gonna stitch. This is called. Rose band sampler. Ronnie's gonna stitch this. Oh piece. yeah, of course. Be careful. There's a lot of people who bought this. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but no, it's but isn't it pretty? You it could do, you could do pretty just pretty. you like like I said you could do just the roses and have it framed in an oval frame and it would be very pretty. Or yeah. you could put when you did that you could make it a little bit bigger and do like your wedding date on there yeah something, something like, like that this cute very cool we can, it's very um oh, okay. all right so this is another that one is a big rose yeah this or what's it she's got big charts it's very easy to read oh, and i okay. like that her charts are very easy to read this is another one from this is autumn the autumn alphabet look at that see that's cool <laughs> There you go. That is cool. All right. Now we have um, salty. We have a uh, salty stitcher design. This is Dr. Maya Angelo. I believe when I when she was on our Zoom, she was telling us that it was re redesigned compared to the first time she released it. Oh. Not sure what she changed in it. Maybe the words were were over one, and maybe she made it where you could stitch it without being on Ada. I, I think that's my, oh, might I be, don't know. Might be what happened. But there's that, and it comes with uh, beads. It comes with the called for beads. But, okay. It doesn't say it there. I was looking, because I didn't have the original the first time it came out to know what was the difference. Okay. So, we'll ask her. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right, and now, Everybody's doing the temperature charts. There's a lot of temperature charts out there. You pick, there's, here, let me show the other side. So what you do is you've got um, the D, the colors, the DMC colors, which mean the temperature. You got the temperature ranges. Yeah. So you got the temperature ranges and then you got your DMC color breakouts there. So you could change them for your area. Uh, she did, she calls this one Miami, Florida. I guess you could, you would definitely want to change the top if you weren't in Miami. But each little four squares is one day, one day of the temperature. So this is a year of temperature, and each of the little four dots is one day of the, the color. The color means what temperature it is. So you could see, this goes very nice, but we know that when you stitch real weather, it's going to be chaotic. One day is going to be 95, the next day it's going to be 30. Yeah, I mean, you just, you never know. Yeah. Except for in Miami, it's going to be 75 every day. But um, this was cool. Yeah. And now we have Princess Leah's number one chart she wants for her bedroom. She wants both of us to stitch one pillow. Canine quotes. I'm only talking to my dog today. Dogs are not our whole life, but they make our life whole. And then the four 
the forever if you are so that is so cute that is super cute so that. and then the next one from scarlet house is ann chilton 1847 for the sampler people out there Right. These are done with Belsois silks or DMC. I love this one. All right, I'm holding my box. Okay. This one is Ghosts and Goblins. Beware of Ghosts and Goblins. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is a very pretty, pretty piece. It's like a spooky clown. Yeah. But, I mean, look at the, here's the alternate look of it. It's very cool looking. Hmm. Then, <laughs> Look at that pumpkin. Is spooky. Yeah, and then it's uh, next one here is uh, Sarah Barnes. It's a nice little uh, long sampler that, what you know, narrow little narrow sampler. Okay, and then um, this is Alastair. Alastair. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, it's a very cute doggy. For the dog lovers. Yeah. No hot poodles. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's another dog. This is a dog sampler. There's a dog, a white dog right there. This is Betsy Jewett. Is the Jewett. rug? No, it's a dog. Look in the rug. No, oh no! Just this is this? Just... <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so Sorry, the, guys. There's the uh, the piece that we were discussing. Yeah, when I see the frame that way, I'm thinking you thought this was big. a rug. <laughs> yeah. No, they do the rug. They yeah, copy the rug. But it's very cute. Yeah, that is really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. And now this is. Oh wait, yeah. The the Thanksgiving one was number three, and now almost uh, three. One, two, three. All three. There's three of the Scarlet House that was in the top ten. So here's another one from the top ten from the Scarlet House. This is a sampler for all seasons. When the weather is hot, rainy, or cold. I look at my chart and stitch as I'm told. The wind may howl, raindrops may fall. I'm in my own world and safe from it all. With colors of thread from every hue, it makes me happy. This much is true. Because cross stitchers, we don't go outside. We just stay inside no matter what the season is. I mean, each house has the four seasons. That's true. Because when someone says it was hot outside, I'm like, that's why I'm inside. It's only 74 inside. But, yeah. I, I bet you there's going to be a stitch along for that one. I like that one. Mm. I have to go outside a lot because the girls. Yeah. But I like, I like the saying on that one. And this is Scarlet Berries. Another, another one of the top ten. Um... I like that. Yeah, interesting colors. How they did the alphabet. And you got the birds, the trees, mm. apples. So there's that one. Okay. And now we've got some of the Rami designs in. Some of the Rami stuff. We don't have the Rami thread packs because they're coming from Italy. So her charts came from the United States and her thread packs coming from, from uh, overseas, from Italy. So this is the Moomi, the Moomi, and it comes and with the Moomi needle, needle Minder. Minder. Yeah. So we're waiting on the thread pack for this one. Yep. This this is fun. I like this. Hippie Ponymus. Is it not the funniest thing ever? Mm -hmm. She really had fun designing these these animals. And that one also we're waiting on the thread pack from there. And again, very disappointed. This one had no pre-orders, but I ordered it for me. It's a Frank. It's a Frankenstein. It's a Frankenstein frog. He's got the little little bolts there, and he's sitting on a frog. And I'm waiting for the uh, Rami threads to come in. He is so cute. That is a cute froggy. But look, look, he's got like his little bolts there. I know. He's, like, I see it. It is super cute. Even the pumpkin looks like it's been had surgery on it. <laughs> So I thought it was super cute, and and that was that was definitely one for me. 
And now we have our new designer, um, Annie Turner, the proper stitcher, as you know her on Floss 2. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Esmeralda's Blackbirds. Gorgeous. Oops, oops, oops. Super little cute, little, little cute Halloween piece you can put on a little board. Very fun. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then we, now we have some tongue twisters here. This is Steampunk uh, Penny Loop. Penny? Penelope. Penelope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I like Penny Loop. <laughs> it's Penelope. <laughs> Okay. Oh All right. my God! Riley's getting a little. <laughs> Riley's getting a little taste of what it was for me filming three hours, three days a week. So, <laughs> so this is uh, Steampunk Penelope. <laughs> Sorry about that. Isn't she cute? So you can't have one without her companion. Her companion piece is Steampunk Percival. Definitely want to stitch those two. Look, look at them together. Aren't they cute? Put them together and then stitch them in the family in the same frame. I like that frame yeah, too. The frame is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. There's that. And now we have. Backwards. Oops. And this is um, Threadwork Primitives, the red letter sampler. Super cute. Look at that. Very pretty. Nice mm. little pillow. <coughs> And then uh, these are not new. These are back in the shop because we, mm -hmm. we had a request for them. Um, thread, milk, um, thread Milk Designs has, they did little pillows for every state. So we got some more of the states back in. This is Pennsylvania. And they're either done with two, three, or four colors, but pretty much is like two of the blues, three, three reds or something like that. But this one's just done with one blue and one red. Then we have Virginia. This is two blues and two reds. And they're not all done on the same color fabric, but they're all done on 36 count. So they look good as a grouping. And this is New York. So it's a mix. It's got a Belle Swall, it's got DMC, it's got um, classic color works. So it's a little bit of a mix to get the color and the look that they, they wanted there. And then like Ohio, it's just one red. Mm. <laughs> it's all you need for Ohio, one red. So yeah. And I'm, I'm okay, I know, we know that that's not when they joined this, the union, but that's the number of the series when they, how they designed them in order. So it took me a while to figure out what's this number mean? Because I'm like, it was because they they get the actual number when the state joined the union is on the pillow. Mm. So this was the 49th state. So that's Alaska. In Ohio was the 17th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, Washington is the 49th state. Uh, the 42nd state, but number 49 chart. <laughs> It, Wrong. Yeah, it wasn't backwards. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, we almost there. We are almost there. I'm going to pull them out that way. I'm not. My shoulder is getting a little bit sore. Yeah, I'm holding my bags for no slippery oh. with the plastic. I love this one. This is uh from Hello from Liz Matthews. This is the sampler tree. Look at that. That one's so cute. Yeah, it is. She needs to do a Halloween one. We need a Halloween tree. This is a pumpkin house and it's stitched on two different fabrics and you attach the fabrics together. So this is one fabric on the top and a different fabric at the bottom. So then they're attached together and then framed. So I don't know how you would attach oh it other gosh. than what the sewing machine person would attach it after it's sewed. I after, don't know. After you sew it together, then you got to try and stitch it together so it looks. Oh, oh, after a stitch it. Yeah. yeah, after sewing together. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. All right. Good yeah. luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or just no. No, you have to stitch it yeah. separately. Yeah. 
No, you have to then try sew to attach them together. It. Yeah. Yeah, the only way you have to <laughs> yeah. sew them together. Right. All right. And then here is the ninth day of Christmas. Nine, was it nine ladies singing? Nine day of Christmas. Ninth day of Christmas. All the ladies are singing. Hmm. You're missing one. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. We always Four, do that. Three, we, we've been counting every one of them as they come out. Like, oh, it's missing one. And we find it. Okay, this one I thought was pretty cute until I really, really looked at it. I'm like, there's a lot of stitching in this. There's a lot of stitching in these three little pillows. This is called Homespun Hearts. I thought this was fabric. You stitched that pattern. Oh. That's what makes it so cool is you stitch the patterns on Everything is stitched. It's stitched. That is so cool. Holy cow. That is super cool. Yeah. Very unique. Very fun. And then you put like big X stitches like you like you pieced it together, I guess, or like a quilt. Um, I think that's what that is for, like a quilt. Um, like you tacked it together. Yeah, giving the idea that you uh, sewed it together. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. And this is another one from um, Hello by Liz Matthews. This is Boo. This was in the in the magazine a few years ago, and now she's released it as a chart. So mm. uh, one of our Zoom, uh, Diane from Zoom, was stitching this. Mm. All right. Now, these are some really, these are, this is Quaint, a new, a new designer for us, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Gone Batty. I think he's so cute. He is so funny. The face on there is very cute. And these are all DMC, so it's pretty cool. All right. And then uh, this mm. next one here is Patriotic Spools. So it's three designs, and you need to find some spools to wrap them around your, um, do like a display. Where do you find the old spools at? And she put it up. Sticker. Up. Car. Oh. Okay. You put it the start day and finish, finish oh. it while I use this. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, this one is one I want to start, want to stitch, but of course, see, it's, it's done like that too. But I think what you do is you put those X's on after it's been attached. Mm. So it's not as complicated as, as the other one, but this is. What is it called? It's called uh, Pumpkin Urn. I was looking for the name. Isn't that pretty? That's cute. I will def that's definitely in my st stitch stash. Stitch. And then this next one. This is meant to be. This piece was meant to be. I actually have the called for fabric in my stash. Reindeer Stables. And it's stitched on Winter Wren by Fox and Rabbit. It's so... Look at that. Look at that. Don't you guys want to stitch it with me? I mean, I love the giant apple right there. And then there's a couple of snowflakes. But you got all these apples and and stuff all around there. It's apple or cherries? I, I, I want to say they're apples. No, I would, this is cherries. Those are cherries? Yeah, the apple is the one in the center. Mm. <laughs> he never believed me. He is hard head. <laughs> cherry apples. Okay, cherry apples. No, nope, they cherries. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stitch this one. I am so excited to start this one. And then here's another one from uh, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. I thought this bird was gorgeous. Her colors. Yeah, it's cherries. Look at this bird. Look, what do you think of that? Oh, wow. I yeah. love it. Yeah. This was Margaret Hall. 1872 so it's a reproduction look at that that is just gorgeous i can imagine seeing that in person it's stitched all in dmc so it would be I, you just look at that piece forever i want to do that one too mm. and then this is sweet to the soul very pretty very pretty Sweet to the soul. Look at all those. Those are 
berries or cherries or strawberries or whatever. That is apples. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those are hearts. <laughs> or strawberries. No, that is strawberries. Yeah. Yeah, you say apples. But wait, wait, wait. Isn't there bugs on here? Look, there's beetles. It's a bees. No, it's a beetle. That's a beetle. Where do they are? Oh, that's in a different that's a different pattern. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Yeah, that's a little book, and I was looking at this big pattern. <laughs> like that, 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 that would go into this. Okay, this is the next one. This is called Inspired by Nature. And um this was kind of another one that's done with, I guess it's a new thing for designers or they're getting back into it. There's like these giant beetles right there in the in the border. There's a ladybug and there's a bee and a beetle. Yeah. And a beehive. That's an interesting. I've not seen anything like this before. This is very interesting. And who is, oh. Uh, Quaint Rose Quaint Needle Arts. Rose. Yeah. And then here... This That's is, cool. Yeah. Inspired by nature. Mm -hmm. And then this one is another one from Quaint Rose Needle Arts. This is Josephine and Anne, 1867. Two, two ladies. Okay. Two ladies, two sisters? I don't know. Josephine and Anne. Could be sisters. Let me see something. Josephine. Oh, no, I look in this. Oh, it's like a bird or something. Mm. I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's very cool. All right. And now we have a uh, fairy wool in the wood. This is um, Welcome to the North Pole. <coughs> oh, no, wait. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, the name of this pattern is North Pole Cross Stitch Club. Because the Santa the, and the two snowmen are stitchers. Yeah. That is so cool. Cross Stitch Club. Mm -hmm. Wood Pole Cross Stitch Club. I like that. And I didn't have any. Okay. Some of her stuff has little charms. That's why I was like making sure I didn't drop it. This is uh, Fairy Wool in the Wood, ABC yeah, of School. One. ABC and of School. One and this one has a little American flag. A flag. American, yeah, a little American flag. Yeah. There's so, no color, so it's silver. Time to go back to school. You can see it? Yeah. I can see it because it's on my face. Um, my front. Here. Oh. All right. And then okay. the next one here is um, bear, and it comes with a little bear paw, paw print, paw charm. Mm -mm. Uh, I think you can. Go yeah, you can I'm kind of going behind it. You can yeah, see? see a little bit. You can see a little bit. You see it. Yeah. And then this oh, is, the pub, is on the, the top. Yeah. Top of the chart right <laughs> here. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So this is uh, ABC of Dracula. Isn't he cute? Uh, yep, yeah, you're good. Yeah. ABC of Dracula. And it comes with a little yeah. red little red and gold heart that goes right down here in the part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. That's cute. It's a little Where'd the heart go? Right down here in the lace. Oh, okay, in the bottom. Yeah. And then here is the acorn. It's acorn pin cushion. I like this because it's kind of finished in a different way. Oh, this is your chart right there. Um, they took like a little stick and made um, made the stem. I put little rusty barrels so, and then the little acorn goes at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That is cute. See, you can see it. Yeah. See the acorn there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cute. Needles and pins. And then. What? Is this the last one? We made it. Are you kidding? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. There's, there's five more boxes. No. <laughs> okay, this is um, Little Red Riding Hood. That is cute. Yeah. And it comes with stickers. These are stickers. Yeah. Everybody wants stickers. You put stickers everywhere. Strawberries, stickers, February, yeah. Friday. Week. Day of the, the week. weekdays. Yeah. 
to do yeah. notes, yeah. emails, work. So that is all of the new stuff this week. We still have half the stuff to come in. So we'll yeah. have another big show, big video next week, possibly. Yes. Um, and so thank you for hanging out with us. I, I don't know. I have no it's too long. That is never a thing in this, <laughs> in this world. I know. Um, I'm just wondering how many days have you been watching this? <laughs> um, because if some some of the items that were not exclusive, if we can reorder, we'll reorder. So that's why um, if you can't find it on the website, shoot us a message. Sometimes spelling counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try not to put when in the search field, try not to put hand dyed cross stitch fabric because that's nothing's gonna come up like that. There's nothing called hand dyed cross stitch fabric. I'm the one who types everything in the website. I'm not gonna put that many words. <laughs> so Just um, best, best thing to do is to look at the um, the drop down menu, click on fabric, and then fabric will come up with the different counts. If you're an Ada person, 16 count Ada, click on 16 count Ada. It'll pull up all the 16 count Adas we have. And then there's a drop down menu there that you can pull up if you want to know what does what dyer you like. If you like fox and rabbit, you click on 16 count, and then there's fox and rabbit. You click on fox and rabbit, and you'll see just that little bit. That's the easiest, less frustrating way to um, to search for, for things on the website. I just try to keep it easy. Um, yeah. I know sometimes we, we think everything is a Siri and it'll do what we say, but website's not that complicated. Um, so thanks for visiting with us, spending time with us. I hope we've enabled you a little bit. We'll probably be busy tomorrow. <laughs> I won't know. I'll get up around 8.30. Ronnie will be, Ronnie will be working for four hours before I get up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to say, hey, something wrong with you? Nope. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for spending time with us, and we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. -bye. Love you, Jal. <laughs> I'm so red. <laughs>